Chapter 1221 Blood Dies The Ancient Remnant Translator Born to be Long Chen fought intensely against the five powerful enemies, with Blood Drinker dancing through the air. People could only see six figures shooting back and forth as the sky shook around them. Seeing that Long Chen could fight against these five powerful experts, Han Wenjin was deeply shocked. He sent out the order for everyone to attack the distant Grand Xia experts. A vague feeling of unease appeared in Han Wenjin's heart. Perhaps he would have to capture the Grand Xia's experts in order to enter an invincible position. At the very least, he had to capture Xia Yaoluo. Han Wenjin, I'll kill you, you bastard. Suddenly, a woman's cry full of killing intent rang out. A sword slashed at Han Wenjin like a flying rainbow. HMPH, little slut. I'll capture you again right now. Han Wenjin sneered and suddenly reached out. Runes lit up on his fingers as he caught Xia Yaoluo's sword, while his other hand reached toward her throat. Xia Yaoluo was shocked. Instead of injuring him when her sword struck his hand, she found herself unable to pull it back. She had never imagined Han Wenjin was this terrifyingly powerful. An explosion of energy came from Han Wenjin's palm. Shia Yaoluo's whole body shook and she vomited a mouthful of blood. She was instantly injured and unable to resist at all as Han Wenjin's hand reached for her throat. Fuck off. A furious row rang out, and a fist smashed into Han Wenjin's palm. Shia Yanchong had arrived, blocking his attack, while also pushing Shia Yaoluo back. But when Shia Yanchong's fist collided with Han Wenjin's palm, his expression changed. He was actually forced back by Han Wenjin. Xia Yaoluo, get back and protect the crown prince, shouted Xia Yanchong, his expression grave. But, listen to orders. Go protect the crown prince, ordered Xia Yanchong. Xia Yaoluo's eyes were red. She felt herself to be useless. The person who had tricked her was right in front of her, but she couldn't get revenge and had implicated her big brother, clenching her teeth. She flew over to Xia Yunfeng and the others, who were currently besieged by powerful enemies. Once Xia Yaoluo was gone, Xia Yunchong turned to face Han Wenjin icily. No wonder Long Chen said you were no longer the old you. You actually absorbed the Grand Chu and Grand Cao's dragon vein energy for yourself. Now your power isn't any lower than those top experts. Others might not be able to tell, but the instant Xia Yunchong had been forced back by Han Wenjin's palm, he had realized something was wrong. Using his dragon vein energy to see, he finally sensed a huge dragon vein image supporting Han Wenjin from behind him. It was several times stronger than his own dragon vein energy. This kind of dragon vein image was something only those who possessed dragon vein energy could sense. And yet it hadn't escaped Long Chen's senses either. Ha ha ha. Correct. The Grand Zhou and Grand Chu's imperial disciples have been killed by me and I've already absorbed all their dragon vein energy. As soon as all your Grand Xia's imperial disciples are killed, the Grand Xia, the Grand Zhou, and the Grand Chu will have lost a third of their karmic luck. This karmic luck will end up supporting my Grand Han, so your three nations will decline, while my Grand Han will only grow stronger. We won't need to waste any time thinking of how to get any historical remnants, making any idols, or stealing any cultural inheritances. Only my Grand Han ancient nation will remain within the central plains. Ha ha ha. Han Wenjin laughed uproariously, his voice full of pride. It was like he could already see the day of the Grand Han uniting all the ancient nations. HMPH. Keep dreaming. Shameless bastards. You're just idiots with overblown confidence. Today, I'll let you and your ambitions die within this ancient remnant. Xia Yanchong shot forward. Unleashing a whistling fist at Han Wenjin. The idiot is you, Xia Yunchong. With your connection to your dragon vein severed, the amount of dragon vein energy you can use has dropped. Furthermore, you've already knelt to me, and you no longer have the power of your undefeatable Dao. Without the pressure of the undefeatable Dao restricting me, you still think you can win? Keep dreaming. You're the one who will die here. Han Wenjin smiled contemptuously. If it was before. He definitely wouldn't have dared to fight Xia Yunchong in a one against one. But now, he had stolen the Grand Chu and Grand Cao's dragon vein energy for himself, as well as broken Xia Yunchong's undefeatable Dao. He was fearless. Their fist and palm once more collided, 
and both sides were knocked back by the other. Even without the domain of my undefeatable Dao, I, Xia Yunchang, am not someone an idiot like you can look down upon, shouted Xia Yunchang. He clearly sensed that his undefeatable will was no longer able to suppress others, but that didn't affect the rest of his combat powers. Han Wenjin was shocked inside, even without the suppression of the undefeatable Dao, making it so he could unleash his full power when fighting. He was still unable to suppress Xia Yunchang. His urge to kill Xia Yunchang rose. The two of them continued a fierce fight, while Xia Yaoluo flew over to the other powerful enemies besieging the Grand Xia's side. Kill. Xia Yaoluo suddenly let out a furious roar. She who had been living a golden life and weaving her own dreams of the rest of the world had finally seen the cruelty of reality. She hated herself for being naive. She hated herself for being foolish. And now she was transforming all this hatred into boundless killing intent. Her sword mercilessly flew through the air. Each of her attacks was incredibly vicious. Her moves almost suicidal. Her enemies were not able to stop her. She felt like she had gone crazy. She needed to kill people. To kill all these enemies. That was the only way to vent her fury. Her hatred. And to relieve the pain in her heart. Watch out. This woman's crazy shouted an ancient race expert. Shia Yaluo's eyes were red, and she was unleashing boundless killing intent. She was ignoring other people's attacks, continuously launching attacks where she exchanged injury for lives. In the first instant, she took the lives of seven rank seven celestials. Shia Yaluo felt herself to be insane. She even felt a desire to die fighting on this battlefield, like that was the only way to relieve her guilt. On this battlefield, the only rank 8 celestial from the Grand Han, Han Kijin, went all out to block Xia Yaoluo's sword. As a result, he almost coughed up blood in his first exchange with her. Ignore the others for now. Kill this crazy woman, shouted Han Kijin. Xia Yaoluo's talent was innately high, and if it weren't for her willful desire to have fun, her accomplishments probably wouldn't be any less than Xia Yunchang's. Xia Yaoluo's combat power was originally a level higher than Han Kijin's. Now in this insane state, she had killed 10 experts, none of them capable of matching her. If Han Kijin were to fight her one against one, he wouldn't be able to last more than a few exchanges before being killed. Originally, the addition of the ancient races and the Pill Towers experts should have allowed the Grand Han to completely suppress the Grand Xia's experts. But Xia Yaoluo's suicidal charge caught them completely off guard, and they abandoned their opponents to attack her. The current Xia Yaoluo was absolutely terrifying. If they didn't quickly suppress her, then by the time they killed the rest of the Grand Xia's experts, she'd have also killed most of them. In just a moment, Xia Yaoluo was fighting Han Kijin as well as over 10 rank 7 celestials. In a few breaths, she was covered in injuries blood dyeing her robes. She was beautiful in a poignant way. Shia Yaoluo had taken these injuries in order to take the lives of three rank seven celestials, giving her remaining opponents goosebumps. They were finally experiencing how terrifying women could be when they went crazy. More and more of their top experts were drawn over to deal with Shia Yaoluo, relieving the pressure on the Grand Xia's experts. But seeing their princess covered in blood and fighting with her life on the line, they erupted with unprecedented power, going all out. Xia Yunfeng and the others also unleashed their greatest power. The battlefield situation became critical. Long Chen was fighting one against five. Xia Yunchang was fighting Han Wenjin. And Xia Yaoluo was drawing over the remaining top experts, allowing the remaining Grand Xia experts to fight back at their opponents in a bloody battle. These four battlefields were now all in a precarious state. If any of them took the advantage, it might affect the other battlefields, immediately causing a chain reaction. If any of these battlefields were defeated, it would immediately cause a one-sided dominance. The battle would basically be decided. So whether it was the Grand Xia's experts or their opponents, they were all going all out. Their blades were all merciless. People continuously died, their blood soaking into the ground. Long Chen's battle with the five experts had also reached its climax. At first, the five experts had been holding back. The ancient races and Blood Kill Hall didn't want to work together, so they were fighting for themselves. But then as the fight continued, 
they realized that if they didn't work together, they might really end up defeated by Long Chen. Just a little while back, Long Chen had created an opportunity to land a punch on the tiger race expert, causing him to wildly vomit blood. If it hadn't been for the elephant race expert's timely assistance, Long Chen would have killed him with his saber. As for the blood kill hall's assassins, one of them was almost killed by a kick from him, and the other assassin had to launch an unexpected suicidal attack on Long Chen. Long Chen hadn't been assured of killing that person while also blocking the suicidal attack, which had saved the assassin's life. Having people from both their parties almost die shocked them. Long Chen's power was growing greater and greater. In the beginning, they had still been able to suppress him, but after an incense stick's worth of time, they were being hunted by Long Chen. Bastard. He's using us to adapt to his power. Everyone, stop holding back and kill him now. The Eagle Race expert finally came to a shocking realization. Long Chen's combat power was rising as his control over his power increased. Through the Eagle Race expert's warning, the others also realized this. They were both shocked and infuriated. They had actually ended up being a whetstone for Long Chen. Don't hold back, roared the Eagle Race expert. His wings spread and golden runes flowed out. Two runes revolved in his eyes as he activated his spirit blood. His lance viciously pierced at Long Chen, tearing through space with an ear-piercing rumble. Chapter 1222 Heaven Fermenting Divine Jar Translator Born to be the Eagle Race Expert activated his spirit blood through a secret art. When the ancient races activated their spirit blood, their combat power would multiply, as they had the bloodline of the Xuan Beasts. This was different from when the human race activated their spirit blood. The spirit blood of the ancient races contained their Xuan beast bloodline, but their bodies were in human form. They were unable to endure such terrifying power for a long time. That was why the ancient races also considered the human race as absolute garbage. The human race bloodline affected their combat power, making it so they were unable to fully unleash the power of the Xuan beast bloodline within them. So they hated the human race. Now that he activated his spirit blood, his combat power crazily soared. However, his body wouldn't be able to endure this kind of power for long. He had to end the fight quickly. Boom. Long Chen's saber collided with the eagle race expert's lance. Long Chen's hand trembled and he was knocked back. Blood dripped down his hand. He was shocked inside. The ancient races truly had some skills. That was especially true for their rank 8 celestials. Their bloodline power was even more terrifying. The elephant and tiger race experts also unleashed the power of their bloodlines. Vast swaths of space twisted around them, while heaven and earth shook from their power. It was possible to vaguely hear the sound of an elephant cry and tiger roar, killing God blessing, blood spirit sacrifice at the same time. The blood kill hall's assassins unleashed a shocking move. Blood poured out of every single one of their pores, condensing into runes that unleashed boundless murderous aura. The pressure from these five eruptions caused the entire battlefield to tremble. Everyone's hearts shook, and they glanced over in shock. But they were no longer able to see Long Chen and the others. Space was twisting around them, and terrifying pressure raged within. Most of them were unable to sense anything inside the twisted space. Xia Yanchong and the others were shocked. Just from these auras, it was clear those five experts had unleashed their full power. The ending of this life and death battle was within Long Chen's hands. If he could endure this, there was still hope. If he was defeated, they would all be killed. Everything's up to you, Long Chen. Xia Yanchong looked at Long Chen's battlefield. Only a rank 8 celestial like him had the ability to peer through this twisted space to see what was inside. Xia Yaoluo had awoken slightly from her craziness. Seeing that battlefield in the air and sensing those five powerful auras. She felt even more remorse. She hated herself for being powerless. Other than stubbornly scolding people and crying like a child. She didn't have any ability at all. She wasn't any help at this critical time at all. Long Chen was fighting those five peak experts all on his own. All the Grand Xia's experts' lives were in his hands. As for her, she could only watch from a distance. Long Chen, you have to win. I can die, but you can't. I don't want my brothers to die, and I don't want the warriors of my grand Shia to die either. Shia Yaoluo clenched her teeth and prayed. 
Seeing these five experts unleash heaven-shaking auras, Long Chen's gaze became fiery. From the battle, he had completely adapted to his newfound power. He was also more confident. Now that he was facing these five experts, any of whom could shake the outside world, he felt pressure but also excitement. That was a primal desire to fight against experts that came from the depths of his soul. He was now completely adapted to his power, and he no longer had any misjivings either. Green Dragon Battle Armor Green scales covered Long Chen's body. This was his first time using the Green Dragon Battle Armor since reaching the 5th Heaven Stage. 108,000 green scales covered his body, and his 108,000 immortal platforms suddenly began to fiercely revolve. Each one of them echoed with one of his dragon scales, and in that instant, it was like 108,000 volcanoes were erupting. Boundless energy charged throughout Long Chen's body, and a powerful aura shattered space, piercing through the sky. The spatial twisting around them suddenly vanished, allowing everyone to clearly see a pillar of chi soaring out of Long Chen, parting the clouds. A huge vortex appeared in the sky, constantly revolving. It was an apocalyptic omen that none of them had ever witnessed before. Ha ha ha. Great. There's no problem at all with my physical body, and I can fight at full power. Long Chen laughed uproariously, and in the face of the five of them attacking him, he swung his saber with a single hand. Boom. Their five weapons crashed against Long Chen's saber, unleashing a terrifying explosion. Ripples spread out. The ground exploded and the entire world rocked. The distant experts were far away and not impacted by these shock waves, and yet they felt a terror from their souls that made it hard for them to breathe. What kind of power is this? Those distant experts were all shocked, let alone blocking this kind of power. Just being close to it would turn them to dust. Impossible. How can he be so strong? Roared the elephant race expert. His face was pale with disbelief. Long Chen's power had far surpassed his imagination and he refused to believe a human could possess such power. The others were shocked too. They hadn't expected that just as they unleashed their full power to kill Long Chen in one blow, his power would erupt to such a shocking level. It took the five of them working together to just barely block him. Was this really so strong? This is nothing. I'll show you what true power is. Long Chen sneered. Boom. The five of them were blown back by an irresistible power from Long Chen's saber. Split the heavens for, a huge saber image tore into the sky, and a terrifying killing intent locked onto the five of them. Space tore apart, and it was like time was frozen. It was like in that instant, the world was no longer moving. Long Chen used half his immortal platform's energy to unleash this attack. This was a saber that would follow a person to heaven or hell. The five of their expressions changed. The eagle race expert roared furiously pushing his bloodline power to its peak. The runes around him exploded one by one, and his lance blossomed with blinding light. A 3,000-meter lance image shot out. Giant Eagle Blood Lance. The Eagle Race Expert had actually activated his king item, bringing out its true form and even the strongest attack of his bloodline. He knew Long Chen's attack was too terrifying to hold back. The elephant and tiger race experts also unleashed the full power of their king items and bloodlines. The tiger race expert's martial weapon was actually a sheath around his claws. It lit up, and a huge claw image slashed out. The two blood kill halls assassins didn't dare to tarry. They closed their eyes, and their foreheads suddenly split open. Blood dripped out, forming a strange design. It was like the face of a fiend. Two 3,000 meter figures appeared behind them. Then those two figures actually merged. Once they merged, heaven-shaking killing intent exploded out. It was like this figure was their killing god. It slashed out a huge attack. Their four attacks crashed into the blood-red saber image. When those five attacks collided, the world became silent. After a breath, a fierce explosion erupted. Light that was more blinding than the sun devoured heaven and earth. Those distant experts were too shocked to even continue fighting. Quick. Retreat, Xia Yunfeng shouted, ordering everyone to fall back. If they were struck by this light, then other than the rank 8 celestials, the rest would all be annihilated. Xia Yunchong also stopped fighting, using a movement art to slip away. He pulled along two heavily injured Grand Xia's experts as he fled. The ancient race, Pill Tower, 
and Grand Han's experts also prepared to run when Han Wenjin announced, Everyone, there's no need to panic. I brought my Grand Han's ancestral item, the Heaven Fermenting Divine Jar. It can definitely block it. Han Wenjin took out a pitch black jar. Mysterious runes were on it, and it immediately grew in size and enveloped all of them. This was also an ancestral item, a treasure that had been passed on within the Grand Han for countless years. In order to avoid any mistakes, they had even brought in this ancestral item. Xia Yanchong and the others glared hatefully at them, but they had no choice but to continue fleeing. Escaping that terrifying light was impossible, but they hoped to get far away enough that its power would weaken enough to only injure them instead of killing them. Boom. That light collided into Han Wenjin's ancestral item. Divine runes lit up on it, and that terrifying impact only caused it to quiver slightly before it stabilized. Stop. Come with me. Xia Yanchong suddenly shouted and led everyone in the direction behind the ancestral item. Due to the ancestral item, a large portion of the light there was blocked, making that the only safe place. They had only just reached the spot when the light struck them. A maelstrom of broken runes hit them. This maelstrom easily tore through their armor. It was like millions of tiny blades were cutting their skin, but they were delighted. Fortunately, the Grand Han's ancestral item had blocked a portion of this power, or most of them would have died. You want to take advantage of me? HMPH. Keep dreaming. Han Wenjin sneered upon seeing this. He was just about to reduce the ancestral item's protective area when a clanking sound rang out. The entire ancestral item trembled fiercely, causing Han Wenjin's expression to completely change. Chapter 1223 Slash to Death Translator Born to be Long Chen's attack had forced his five opponents to unleash their strongest attacks. This was a world-shaking exchange, and the immense power blew back all six of them. Long Chen didn't know what condition the others were in, but he felt like a hammer had struck him. He almost coughed up blood. He hadn't expected the five of them to be so strong. Even the fourth form of split the heavens hadn't managed to kill them. But unbeknownst to him, the five of them were even more shocked. They felt like they were about to go insane. They were top figures amongst rank 8 celestials, practically unrivaled within their realm. They had never before had to join hands with anyone to fight their enemies. Now, they had not only joined hands with others, but the five of them had even unleashed their strongest moves, only to violently cough up blood. The three ancient race experts were a bit better off. After all, they had the bloodline of the Xuan beasts, giving them powerful physical bodies. But the two blood kill halls assassins were almost killed. They were covered with blood, and their bones were broken. They tumbled back like a massive pulp. Long Chen didn't know about all that. All he knew was that it felt like a mountain was crashing into his chest. As he flew back, the direction he went was precisely where Han Wenjin was. He saw that huge jar. He was no longer a novice, and he instantly recognized it to be an ancestral item. Without saying a word, he took out the black pot and smashed it at the jar. With an explosive sound, the pot smashed against the jar. Everyone inside felt like they were inside a bell that had been rung with a hammer. That feeling was unendurable. Those with weaker cultivation bases fainted, and some unlucky fellows even directly died. Those who didn't faint didn't feel like it was a blessing. Another smash came, making their heads buzz. They felt like their brains were being turned to mush. The fierce ringing continued. Han Wenjin only managed to react now, coughing up a mouthful of blood that landed on the ancestral item. But by the time he did this, he was shocked to find that that ancestral item had become incredibly weak. He even sensed waves of terror coming from it. Crack. In front of everyone's shocked gazes, their Grand Han's ancestral item, the heaven-fermenting divine jar, shattered. Its fragments fell to the ground, revealing a black pot and Long Chen who was covered in sweat. By now, the maelstrom had already passed. Long Chen looked at the sluggish Han Wenjin. He wiped off some sweat and said, Although you're a bunch of brutes, I wouldn't feel good seeing you die inside a pickling jar. Now I've finally managed to break it and save you. There's no need to thank me, as this was only right of me. Well, goodbye, pow. After spouting out nonsense, Long Chen viciously slapped the stunned Han Wenjin. He shot back like a shooting star. 
He was like a bolt of lightning was flying toward the center of the battlefield. Half of Han Wenjin's face caved in. His head had shrunk quite a bit. But fortunately, the Grand Han's men had large heads. So he still had enough. But Long Chen's slap was truly vicious. Han Wenjin almost died from it. Without his powerful dragon vein support, he would have died. Kill them. Xia Yunfeng and Xia Yunchong were delighted by Long Chen's power. He actually managed to destroy an ancestral item, heavily injure Han Wenjin, and cause all the other experts to feel like their heads were buzzing. This was the best time to kill them, and so all the Grand Xia's experts charged. As for Long Chen, he flew in another direction. That was where the five rank eight celestials were struggling to stand. Long Chen didn't want to give them any time to breathe. However, he hadn't had a choice but to interfere. Han Wenjin's ancestral item had been too terrifying. If he hadn't destroyed it, Han Wenjin might have been able to use it to completely annihilate Xia Yunchong and the others. So Long Chen broke that pickling jar with the black pot. The other reason for this was to see the power of the black pot. Long Chen had hoped that the black pot might wake from this. If it did, perhaps he would be able to dominate the lands in the future. After all, this pot was personally forged by a mysterious ascender, and later, that ascender had even bestowed it with even greater power. After he had used it on the Blazing Dragon Cauldron, the Blazing Dragon Cauldron had later told him that the pot was a rogue. Each time the pot smashed it, it extracted its core energy. That was why it would have been crippled if Long Chen had continued smashing it on it. So upon seeing another ancestral item, Long Chen almost reflexively decided to be a rogue and unleash a torrent of smashes. And as expected, the pot really was badass. Each smash weakened the ancestral item. This time, Long Chen didn't care about the ancestral item, and his smashes completely destroyed the treasure the Grand Han had spent blood, sweat and tears on nourishing for hundreds of generations. Die. Long Chen put away the pot and shot toward the two assassins who were covered in blood and trying to recover with heavenly Tao energy. Boom. The two of them hastily blocked Long Chen's saber, but Long Chen was too powerful, and they didn't specialize in power. They tumbled back along the ground. Their bodies hadn't fully recovered before they were given a new slew of injuries. If they hadn't worked together, they wouldn't have even been able to block this attack. He's out of power. Quick, kill him, cried one of the assassins. To use the fourth form of split the heavens, Long Chen had used up half his energy. Now, he had less than a third of his spiritual yuan. His power had truly dropped. But even if he had less than a third of his spiritual yuan, he knew that with his 108,000 immortal platforms, that was still double what an ordinary rank 8 celestial possessed. When he had fought Dan Chu, the reason why he had been able to steal so much spiritual yuan was because alchemists had the most abundant spiritual yuan other than wood cultivators. And yet, even though so much of Dan Chu's spiritual yuan had been sucked away, it still hadn't been enough for Long Chen. 30% of his spiritual yuan was enough for him to kill these exhausted fellows. The Blood Kill Hall assassin was only shouting this in order to get the ancient race experts to come and help. If the ancient race experts just watched, the two assassins would be killed instantly. That wasn't good for any of them. If they died, the ancient race experts would also find it difficult to escape from Long Chen. The ancient race experts disdained working together with the Blood Kill Hall assassins, but they had no other choice right now. Long Chen was too terrifying. And if the two assassins were killed, their hopes of victory would drop. Therefore, they used the little bit of energy they had just recovered to attack Long Chen. Long Chen smiled slightly. The runes on his boots lit up, and it was like he had teleported. He arrived in front of the two assassins. Their swords stabbed toward him from two different sides. Although they were enemies, Long Chen had to admit their combination arts were practically flawless. Even in such desperate straits. Their attacks weren't chaotic, they weren't panicked at all, and their control over their sword, timing, and power was still at their peak. One sword was aiming for Long Chen's heart, while the other was aimed at his ribs. It looked like they were launched at the same time, but their timing was different. There was no way to block them at the same time, but if he blocked them separately, it would give them a breather. Long Chen raised his arm protector to block one sword. 
while he allowed the other sword to stab through his ribs. That sharp blade contained all the assassin's energy, and even Long Chen's body couldn't block it. It pierced through him. No. The assassin whose blade was blocked let out a startled cry. As for the other assassin, at the same time as his sword stabbed through Long Chen's body, Long Chen's saber slashed through his waist. Last time, he had also been cut at the waist by Long Chen, but he hadn't died. This time, he wasn't so lucky. The power contained in Long Chen's saber directly blew him apart. One of the twin assassins had fallen, causing the other assassin's eyes to almost tear out of their sockets. He went insane, roaring furiously. Long Chen pulled out the sword stabbing through him, causing his blood to spurt. He icily looked at the other assassin and shook his head. Aren't you the killing god servants? Didn't you say death is returning to the embrace of the killing god? I sent your brother to see your killing god. So shouldn't you thank me? Why get angry? Long Chen's voice was full of disdain. When they killed others, they were merciless and vicious, treating their lives as nothing more than blades of grass. But now he became so fierce upon having his brother killed? Since he knew pain, why could he be so indifferent when it came to killing others? Die. The remaining assassin attacked Long Chen like he was insane. He had already lost the calm of an assassin. Losing his twin brother made him crazy. Attack together. The three ancient race experts' hearts turned cold upon seeing Long Chen kill one of the assassins. But it had happened too quickly for them to stop him. Now seeing the other assassin enter a crazy state, they launched all-out attacks. They knew if they didn't, Long Chen would quickly send the remaining assassin to the killing god and then it would probably be their turn. Right now, each bit of combat power was incredibly precious. Raging flames devour the heavens. Once the fourth of them charged at him together, Long Chen suddenly shouted. Violet flames exploded out of him, their heat incinerating the world. Chapter 1224 Exchanging Weapons of War for Gifts of Jade and Silk? Translator. Born to be not good. The three ancient race experts' expressions changed. When those violet flames enveloped them, they were shocked to find they were unable to resist at all. The instant the flames touched them, their skin turned black. The eagle race expert's feathers were all incinerated, and his wings became chaired. Those feathers were so powerful that even blades couldn't break them. They were even stronger than treasure items, but they weren't able to stop the soul-devouring violet flame. This was just the start. The flame energy continued to wreak havoc over their bodies, trying to turn them to ash. If they were in their peak state, they would have been able to use their powerful spiritual yuan to resist. But now, they didn't have the energy to block these terrifying flames. Once their last dregs of energy were used up, they would be instantly incinerated. Retreat. The three of them fell back at the same time. These terrifying flames weren't something they could handle. Just as they retreated. Long Chen's saber slashed through the assassin who was also wrapped in flames. Another blood kill hall assassin died. Long Chen kept their swords. They were incomparably sharp king items. Not only had Long Chen gained two powerful king items, but he had also gained two rank 8 heavenly daruns. Adding on the slain Dan Chu, Li Wanji, and Han Bijan, he had a total of five rank 8 heavenly Dao fruits. After that, he shot after the three of them. He also expanded the domain of his flames. The three of them had just managed to reach the edge of this flame domain when it explosively grew, once more trapping them. Their expressions turned green. At this moment, Long Chen appeared in front of him, his saber slashing down. The three of them were horrified. Suddenly, the elephant race expert took out a white crescent object. This crescent object was only an inch long, looking like nothing more than an ornament but it was covered in divine runes that emitted a terrifying pressure. The small object shot out at Long Chen's saber. The instant it left the elephant race expert's hand, it rapidly grew, becoming 3,000 meters long. Boom. The saber image and that object collided. Long Chen's saber image was instantly blown apart, and Long Chen coughed up a mouthful of blood as he was knocked back. An ancestral item. Long Chen was shocked. He hadn't expected the elephant race expert to have also brought in an ancestral item. Furthermore, it was such a terrifying ancestral item. At this time, he managed to see that it was clearly an elephant's tusk. 
This tusk was covered in blood red lines Novaloon.com It's the tusk of a 10th rank magical beast. Long Chen let out a startled cry. This kind of aura was something he remembered. In truth, this wasn't the tusk of a magical beast, but a 10th rank Xuan beast. It was left behind by a true expert of the barbarian elephant race. This tusk contained the power of that expert's terrifying cultivation base. It possessed its own spirituality. Long Chen rejoiced inside that he had launched a saber image attack just now. If this tusk had struck Bloodrinker's true body, it would have been damaged. Lend me your power. The elephant race expert shouted and suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood, forming hand seals. That blood transformed into a rune that landed on the tusk. Once the tusk received the nourishing of the essence blood rune, it unleashed blinding light and seemed to come alive. The eagle and tiger race experts placed their hands on the elephant race experts' back. Their little remaining spiritual yuan poured into the elephant race experts' body. With that help, the elephant race experts' hand seals quickened. The tusk shot toward Long Chen. This time, the tusk's runes all lit up, and wherever it passed, space collapsed. It was full of apocalyptic power. Long Chen's hair stood on end. This tusk was absolutely horrifying. It was a true killing item. Little Pot, you are an existence left behind by an expert on the level of gods and immortals. You can't fail me now. My life is in your hands. Long Chen clenched his teeth and took out a seemingly unremarkable pot. When he looked from it to this 3,000 meter elephant tusk shooting toward him, his scalp turned numb. Fuck it. Long Chen threw out the black pot. It smashed into the elephant tusk. Boom. No light came from the pot. It still seemed as ordinary as ever, but the mountain-like elephant tusk stopped on contact with an explosive sound. Long Chen saw the pot and tusk deadlocked in the air. This small pot and huge elephant tusk were completely mismatched in size, but they were motionless in the air. The eagle, tiger, and elephant race experts all violently vomited blood at the same time, their faces losing all color. That elephant tusk had sucked away all their spiritual yuan and its collision with the pot caused them a backlash. What shocked the three of them was that this pot was like dog shit, refusing to get off the tusk. The tusk was trembling violently, unable to escape the pot. Its runes began to rapidly dim. Bastard, that pot of his is an absolute treasure. My ancestral item can't handle it. Activate your ancestral spirit soul calming jades. The elephant race expert placed a finger on his forehead. His forehead began to cave in. This was a suicidal move, but just as his own power was about to kill him, a jade plate on his waist lit up, and a barrier of light enveloped him. Within this light was an elder with elephant tusks. He was filled with shock. The eagle race expert and tiger race expert also tried to suicide, activating the protection of their soul calming jades. What's going on? Three light barriers enveloped the three of them. The elder from the elephant race jumped in shock when he saw the tusk and he hastily formed hand seals. Energy transmitted out of the light barrier. The elephant tusk seemed to gain some kind of support, and its runes once more brightened. A terrifying pressure came from it, one far stronger than before. Seeing that the pot was being shaken by some kind of energy and might be thrown off at any moment, Long Chen hastily flew over and placed a palm on it. He poured in his spiritual yuan. With Long Chen's support, the pot became stable again once more sticking to the tusk firmly. Through this, Long Chen sensed the pot crazily absorbing energy from the tusk. Not only was it absorbing the tusk's energy, but it was also absorbing the energy the elder was pouring into it. That elder was the top expert of the elephant race, but due to the spatial difference, he could only transmit some energy through the soul calming jade. The amount of power he could use was less than one ten thousandth. Seeing that he was unable to extricate the tusk from the pot, he hastily called out to the other two ancient races elders. Those two also poured in their energy through their soul calming jades, giving it to the elephant race elder. They worked together to support the tusk. The tusk blazed with light as it attempted to shake off the pot, but then it quickly dimmed back down. Wave after wave of energy was absorbed by the pot. The elephant race elder's expression changed upon seeing that. He shouted, Long Chen, the ancient races and you still haven't reached the point of you die or I die. I hope we can all take a step back and exchange our hostility for friendship. 
How does that sound? This elder finally realized the situation. Although he had great power in his own right, he was unable to use it through the soul calming jade. If this continued, he wouldn't be able to do anything to Long Chen, and he would lose his ancestral item and his disciples. What did you say? The wind here is too strong. Long Chen tilted an ear toward him, acting like he hadn't heard. Did this old bastard think he was an idiot? Exchange hostility for friendship? Furthermore, they only represented three of the countless ancient races. How could they speak for the ancient races in their entirety? And even if they could represent the ancient races, did asking for a sea sapphire now have any meaning? Just at this time, a mass of people rushed over. It was Xia Yanchong and the others. They had annihilated their enemies and had captured Han Wenjin alive. Thus, they came to support Long Chen. Seeing Long Chen holding an iron pot while facing three experts of the ancient races shocked them. I'm going to help Long Chen. Xia Yaoluo and Xia Yanchong both started flying over. Although they didn't have much spiritual yuan left after this intense battle, they still had some. Come back. Your actions are a violation of the Four Nations Treaty, ordered Xia Yunfeng. According to the Four Nations Treaty, the ancient nations were outside the scope of the cultivation world, and they could not interfere in the cultivation world's affairs. In the same way, the four ancient nations would not be disturbed by the cultivation world. This was a rule transmitted down through countless years. Previously, the ancient races, Grand Han, and Pill Tower experts had attacked them. Naturally, they were allowed to fight back. But now it was different. Now it was an enmity between Long Chen and the three ancient races. If they interfered now, the nature of their actions would change. It would be giving their opponents an excuse to find trouble for the Grand Xia. Are you stupid? Long Chen only became enemies with them because of us. If we just watched to the side, would we even be human? Roared Xia Yanchang, ignoring his orders. Xia Yaoluo and Xia Yanchang were both grabbed by Xia Yunfeng. He shouted, Do you realize that this courage of yours is putting the safety of the Grand Xia's millions and millions of commoners in danger? Xia Yanchang's expression changed several times. He clenched his fists. They already broke the treaty. Why would we need to endure because we are the Grand Xia's princes? Everything we do is for the Grand Xia's commoners. If you are willing to see the four nations be devastated, go ahead. Xia Yunfen glared at Xia Yanchang and Xia Yaoluo. Chapter 1225 The Pot's Power Translator Born to be flames were raging in Xia Yanchang's eyes. The four ancient nations were outside the scope of the cultivation world. They were publicly acknowledged as peaceful lands by the entire Martial Heaven continent. The four ancient nations had had peace for countless years. They were protected by the entire continent's righteous path. The people within could live without worry about participating in the struggles between sects. However, this had been ruined by the Grand Han's wild ambitions. If Long Chen hadn't come and reversed the tide, the outside world wouldn't have even known such a treacherous thing had occurred within the Four Nations' ancient remnant. Their grievance would be forever buried here along with the truth. Now that Long Chen needed help, helping him was equivalent to participating in the cultivation world's struggles? What kind of idiot logic was this? However, in reality, the world was just that idiotic. Now that the Grand Han's experts had all been killed, Long Chen was losing against the three ancient race experts, and if they helped, the consequences would be dire. There were many powers eyeing the four ancient nations like wolves in the dark. The four ancient nations had many precious resources within them. Like greedy hyenas, those powers wanted their dragon vein karmic luck. Third brother, all the dragon vein energy is now with you. You are the future emperor of the Grand Xia, so look after the nation properly. Starting today, I, Xia Yunchang, am leaving the Grand Xia's imperial family. Everything I do has nothing to do with the Grand Xia. Xia Yunchang patted Xia Yunfeng heavily on the shoulder. His expression was calm. Since ancient times, it has always been difficult to be both loyal and righteous. I don't want the Grand Xia's commoners to be in danger, but I cannot stand to the side as Long Chen fights a bitter battle for the Grand Xia. Take care. Xia Yanchang flew out together with Xia Yaoluo. Both of them went to help Long Chen. Xia Yunfeng's expression was bitter. 
He knew that Xia Yanchang and Xia Yaoluo had resolved to advance and retreat with Long Chen. By helping Long Chen this time, if any of the three ancient races demanded to hold them accountable, Xia Yaoluo and Xia Yanchang would have to bear the consequences. In other words, they were prepared to sacrifice themselves. Crown Prince, we should go too. Otherwise, it'd be too sullen. The ancient races have gone too far, said one of the other princes upon seeing Xia Yanchang and Xia Yaoluo fly out. Their losses this time were immense. Of the 3,000 people that had entered, less than 200 remained. All of them were full of hatred. Two of their princes had even died. Xia Yanfen was also struggling with this decision, as he was the future emperor of the Grand Xia. His responsibility was greater than others, and he saw problems more clearly than them. If it was in a chaotic battle and they accidentally helped Long Chen, that would be one thing. But right now, all their enemies had been annihilated. Going to help Long Chen would give the ancient races an excuse to no longer care about the old taboo. When the time came, the flames of war would sweep over the Grand Xia. But Xia Yunfen was also a hot-blooded man, and he was furious. His killing intent was starting to affect his intelligence. And seeing his little brother and sister charge out. Fuck. Whatever. Attack. Xia Yunfen suddenly went against his brain for the first time in his life and led everyone to charge over. Grand Xia brats. If you dare to interfere with the personal grievance between my ancient races and Long Chen, my ancient race alliance will sweep through your Grand Xia tomorrow, roared the elephant race elder. Fuck off, you old ghost. I am no longer a member of the Grand Xia. If you want to play, then I'll accompany you, cursed Xia Yanchang furiously. Ignoring his threat, both he and Xia Yaoluo arrived beside Long Chen placing their hands on his back to transfer their spiritual yuan. But they had only just arrived beside him when a lightning dragon appeared and forced them back. Long Chen, Xia Yaoluo bit her lip, tears streaming down her face. Long Chen was actually refusing their help. If it hadn't been for him, the Grand Han scheme would have killed them all. But now, in order to not implicate them, Long Chen refused their help. Xia Yaoluo felt even worse. What do you think you're doing, Long Chen? Are you looking down on me? Do I not even have the qualifications to fight to the death alongside you? Demanded Xia Yanchang. He knew this was Long Chen's good intention, but he was unable to accept such a thing. It was a kind of insult to him. Stop shouting so loudly. Today is a rare opportunity for me to show off. Just watch as I destroy these three ancient ghosts. Long Chen smiled as he replied. But that smile was a bit forced. Facing these three incredibly powerful experts, even Long Chen felt like he was walking on thin ice. But fortune was found in danger. Higher risk signified higher rewards. Facing the full energy output of these six people from the junior and senior generations of the ancient races, Long Chen felt that there was a slight change in the pot. Its aura hadn't changed, and the rune that the mysterious elder had placed on the bottom of it was still dim. All he really felt was that it seemed the iron pot had become darker. Although there was no way to confirm whether the pot was growing stronger, Long Chen could clearly sense the pot absorbing the energy from the tusk and those six people. That was definitely a good thing. Since it was a good thing, Long Chen was happy to continue like this against them. This was using other people's food to fatten his own pig. It was delightful. So how could he allow Xia Yanchang and the others to interfere? However. The fact that the two of them had been willing to come touched him, and even the always calm Xia Yunfeng had charged over, that filled him with gratitude. He knew Xia Yunfeng wasn't cold-hearted. He had simply been influenced by his father's teachings. All his decisions had to be for the good of the Grand Xia's commoners. In truth, that was a great sacrifice on his part. Not just anyone was capable of doing such a thing, treating millions of commoners as his own family. Lai Long blocked them outside. His divine ring revolved and his violet flames incinerated the sky, drawing out endless energy for himself. He had made his preparations for a drawn-out fight. Long Chen, why don't we stop? We can end things harmoniously, shouted the elder from the elephant race. He could see something was off. As Long Chen continuously absorbed spiritual yuan from the air through his divine ring and violet flames, they were deadlocked. 
but he had suddenly noticed the elephant tusk was starting to run out of energy. Its core energy was constantly being sucked out by the pot. Continuing like this was not good. What did you say? I couldn't hear you. Long Chen continued acting like he couldn't hear because the wind was too strong. I said let's stop. We can resolve this matter peacefully. Exchanging weapons of war for gifts of jade and silk. Shouted the elder. What? I can't hear you. You. The elder was infuriated. Long Chen was clearly acting stupid. He shouted. Long Chen. Don't you know how to appreciate kindness? Don't force us to use a killing blow on you right now. Damn. You're this badass? Even now. You have a killing blow left? I almost pissed myself. But you know. I'm naturally distrustful. Can you show me that killing blow first to allow me to broaden my horizons? Long Chen put on a terrified expression. That exaggerated expression definitely needed a spanking. And the elder fumed. Seeing that Long Chen refused to bend no matter what he tried. The elder's expression sank. Taking a deep breath. His hand seal suddenly changed. The light barrier grew brighter. And a powerful pressure descended. Causing Long Chen's heart to shake. Long Chen circulated his spiritual yuan around himself to guard. Following the elephant race elder, the other two elders also did the same. Their energy poured through the light barrier and into the elephant tusk. The elephant tusk's runes once more lit up, and the void shook. Powerful qi waves blew away Xia Yanchang and the others. Even Long Chen could barely keep his grip. Suddenly, the pot was blown off from the elephant tusk along with Long Chen. After that, the elephant race elders' hand seals changed. The elephant tusk unleashed barriers of light that wrapped around the three ancient race disciples. Space began to twist. Fuck. You want to run? Don't even think about it. Leave behind the elephant tusk and your lives first. Long Chen shot forward with his boots. If they escaped like this, he'd cough up blood. The elephant tusk was already starting to merge into space under the control of the elephant race elder. Boom. Long Chen slammed the pot onto the tusk. Its light dimmed a bit, but the spatial energy didn't pause. It actually directly gave up on blocking the pot and focused on fleeing. Bang, bang, bang. Long Chen smashed the pot over and over, roaring furiously. Hurry up and stop, or I'll smash you to death. Boom. Space exploded and the light faded. The three elders' images completely dissolved. Suddenly, three bodies dropped from the sky. They were the three talented geniuses from the ancient races. Their transportation had failed. A dim elephant tusk hung in the air, its body covered in cracks. It transformed to become an inch long and floated in front of Long Chen. Trembling, it transmitted its emotions of terror and surrender to him. You deserve it. If you had surrendered earlier, wouldn't you have avoided that pain? Long Chen grabbed it, fuming. If it had only surrendered earlier. He would have obtained another supreme treasure, but now he had beaten it to the point that it was half crippled. It would also be unable to help him in the short term, but he sensed that the elephant tusk was different from the blazing dragon cauldron. It was a true killing item. In truth, in this place, it couldn't even unleash a hundredth of its power. An ancestral item was not something a foundation forging disciple could control. As for the elephant race elder, his power was unable to reach this place. So the elephant tusk hadn't even been able to display its power before being beaten into this state. If it had still refused to submit, it would have been completely shattered. Long Chen put away the elephant tusk and then turned to the three ancient race geniuses. Their auras were listless. Being forced out of their spatial transportation had caused a backlash that had almost killed them. Their bones were all shattered, and they lay there like lumps. Long Chen smiled icily, blood drinker on his shoulder. He slowly walked toward them. Chapter 1226 A storm was brewing translator. Born to be step. Step. Long Chen got closer and closer. The eagle, elephant, and tiger race experts were unable to move at all. They were filled with horror. At this time, they had lost the attitude of an aloof expert looking down on all others. Now they looked like sheep about to be slain. They could only watch as a death god slowly walked over to them. Long Chen, I don't believe the eagle race expert did his best to put on a calm expression, but he had only just opened his mouth when a saber cut through his head. Were you going to say you don't believe I'll kill you? Now, do you believe it? 
asked Long Chen indifferently. Long Chen had seen many similar people who liked to look down on others, and he had killed many of them. If they could beat someone, they bullied them to death, and if they couldn't, they used their background to frighten others away. He had seen all kinds of ugly faces now. He could easily predict what this eagle race expert was going to say. Even at this time, he still wanted to threaten him. His saber once more returned to his shoulder, but now there was a large blood stain on it, and blood slowly dripped down its tip. That blood was the essence blood of the eagle race expert. It contained his life's purest energy, which was why it was stuck to blood drinker. At this time, Xia Yanchong and the others were looking in shock at Long Chen. They watched as he personally slaughtered a rank 8 celestial of the ancient races. What gave them goosebumps was his calm expression. It was like he hadn't killed an ancient race expert, but simply harvested a cabbage he had noticed on his way. He didn't even bat an eye. Now Long Chen walked over to the tiger race expert. He was terrified and tried to back up, but his body didn't listen to him. He begged, Long Chen, please don't kill me Long Chen's saber mercilessly slashed down. The tiger race expert followed the eagle race expert to death. Did you ever listen to other people's begging when you killed them? Disdain appeared in Long Chen's eyes. Swinging his saber, he walked to the final ancient race expert. He was filled with despair. He had witnessed his two companions being killed and he was extremely unwilling. They were members of the ancient races. It had always been them killing others, but now the tables had turned on them. They had encountered an even more vicious and domineering fellow, one who had no misjivings about their background. I Long Chen's saber fell. The elephant race expert was slain. What I? We're all busy, so I won't waste time with you. Long Chen flung his saber, getting rid of the blood. He then reached out to take their spatial rings. These three were experts from the ancient races. They definitely had to be rich. They were different from the Blood Kill Hall's experts. The Blood Kill Hall's assassins didn't bring much when they went out to execute their missions. Their wealth remained in the Blood Kill Hall's headquarters. This was one of the rules of the Blood Kill Hall. Each assassin lived by the blade, and they could die at any moment. So they naturally wouldn't bring anything too valuable on their missions. As for the ancient races, they were rich. Perhaps if it was someone else, they wouldn't dare to take their spatial rings, afraid of drawing killers. But Long Chen had long since drawn those killers, so he naturally didn't care. If he could take something, he'd take it. Suddenly, heaven and earth shook. The Four Nations' ancient remnant began to shake. Xia Yanchong's expression changed, and he shouted, The ancient remnant is about to close. We have to leave. There was no time to speak. They scrambled for the spatial portal. But Shia Yaluo suddenly felt a wave of exhaustion on the way. She had fought in a suicidal manner just now and suffered countless internal injuries. She had suppressed them before. But now as soon as the pressure lightened, her injuries erupted out of her control. Just as she began to lag behind, a powerful arm wrapped around her waist and pulled her along. Long Chen. The person carrying her was Long Chen. For some unknown reason, Shia Yaluo felt happy yet also pained and sad. Looking at Long Chen, a hundred different feelings rose in her heart, and her tears dripped down. In her heart, Long Chen was a fellow who liked to make trouble and was never proper. She had no idea when he was being serious and when he was intentionally acting wacky. But when something big happened, he would place the heaviest burden on his own shoulders, using his power to protect everyone. In comparison, she felt herself to be useless. She had fallen for Han Wenjin's sneak attack without having the slightest guard against him. Then she had become a hostage, and Xia Yanchong had knelt toward them in submission in order to save her, destroying his Dao heart. His cultivation base would never advance again. Xia Yaoluo wished she was dead. Long Chen. I. Xia Yaoluo began to bawl. She was full of regret and hatred. She hated herself for being useless and not able to block the rain when danger came. Unlike Long Chen. Foolish girl. What are you crying for? Everything's over. We won. You should be happy. Said Long Chen. But I. I implicated everyone. I implicated my big brother. Xia Yaoluo began to cry harder until she wasn't even able to form words. Long Chen also felt helpless about this. In truth. This couldn't be blamed on her. 
This was the result of her living environment and her teachings, as well as the pampering of her parents and brothers. Now that the consequences of that had caught up to her, the blame couldn't be placed solely on her. Furthermore, Xia Yaoluo had already escaped her dreams of Han Wenjin. Putting it another way, even if it was another expert of the Grand Xia, if they weren't on guard, they also would have been easily captured by Han Wenjin. It was just that Han Wenjin was truly garbage to actually choose to target Xia Yaoluo. The pure-hearted Xia Yaoluo had never imagined that a human heart could be so dark. After being given such a huge blow, she felt like her world was crumbling around her, and she felt herself to be the world's most useless person. Xia Yaoluo suddenly began to cough, and blood dripped out of her mouth. Her internal injuries were getting worse. Long Chen hastily fed Xia Yaoluo a top-grade healing pill. This pill's effect was extremely strong and would quickly suppress her injuries. But it was like Xia Yaoluo couldn't even sense her injuries. Her beautiful eyes were only filled with sadness. Long Chen's heart shook slightly. Thinking about it, he took out another medicinal pill and fed it to Xia Yaoluo. Xia Yaoluo instinctively swallowed it and quickly fell asleep in his embrace. Quick, the spatial portal is about to close. Everyone suddenly saw a large spatial portal in the midst of rapidly shrinking. According to this speed, they wouldn't make it. Everyone come with me. Long Chen handed the sleeping Xia Yaoluo to Xia Yanchang. He summoned Lai Long. Lai Long swallowed everything and then transformed into a bolt of light that charged through the portal. The portal closed. But right before that, Lai Long streaked by. This minor world returned to silence. However, now it had a bit more blood and quite a few resentful ghosts. Long Chen you bastard. I'll definitely tear you to pieces. This sentence came out of the three elders of the ancient races at the same time from different places. Their words and tone were almost identical. The eagle and tiger races had each lost a rank 8 celestial. That was not just a rank 8 celestial. It was the person they had been grooming to become their future leaders. Existences they had spent countless resources on. But their soul jade slips had shattered. Meaning they were already dead. The most unlucky one was the elephant race. They had not only lost a genius, but even their ancestral item had been stolen away. They had lost any connection to it. There were only two possibilities for such a thing to happen. Either the ancestral item was already destroyed, or it had been willing to unstintingly use up a huge amount of its core energy to dissolve their contractual rune. An ancestral item could not easily dissolve a contractual rune. That would cause huge harm to it. In living memory. There were few cases of ancestral items dissolving their contractual runes on their own. But they didn't know that this ancestral item was just like the blazing dragon cauldron. If it didn't submit, it would have been destroyed by the pot. So it had been forced to submit. As for the elephant tusk, although it was left behind by their ancestor, the item spirit was not their ancestor. It didn't care about them. An ancestral item spirituality was extremely high and its intelligence was comparable to a child. It had its own emotions, and it knew how to feel fear. They were different from king items. King items were only able to vaguely express their emotions, but an ancestral item could actually communicate with people. Most importantly, ancestral items were normally constricted by slave runes, and due to that, they didn't feel much sense of loyalty. There was no way around it. As long as ancestral items were being nourished by someone, their lifespan was unlimited, but human lifespans were limited. Normally, the powerful experts in control of an ancestral item would place a slave mark on their weapon before dying and leave it to their descendants to nourish and use it. This was also where the name of an ancestral item came from. But while an ancestral item was loyal to the first generation expert, it didn't have too many feelings for that expert's descendants. They were simply enslaved. Many people treated them as simply tools. And they placed the slave marks so they wouldn't rebel or run. Gather all the race's experts. We're going to attack the Grand Shia. Forcing them to hand over Long Chen. And then we'll force him to hand over the ancestral item. Roared the elephant race elder. I see killing intent filled his eyes. It wasn't just the elephant race. The tiger race and giant eagle race were also gathering all their experts. The pill tower had long since started making moves. 
A huge storm was brewing. Chapter 1227 Deciding to counterattack translator. Born to be Long Chen and the others flew out of the Four Nations ancient remnant, and they saw an army of hundreds of thousands at the exit. Imperial father, master, Xia Yanchong hadn't expected that his master and his father, Xia Yuyang, would be waiting for them. What moved him was that Xia Yuyang's emotionless and stern face now had a relieved smile on it. The light in his eyes was also not so sharp as it usually was. Instead, his eyes were full of emotion and even slightly red. You're all back alive. Good. Xia Yuyang was emotional to see Xia Yanchong, Xia Yunfeng, and Xia Yaoluo return alive. According to his original estimates, there was less than a one in a thousand chance of them surviving. After all, since their enemies had dared to attack, they had to have been 100% confident. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been so brazen as to target their dragon vein. Seeing them alive, even someone like Xia Yuyang couldn't keep control of his emotions. Sorry father, Yunlin, Yunhua, they, Xia Yanchong was aggrieved. Those two were his brothers, but they had died in the battle Novaloon.com battle is not a game. There's no way that no one will die. My grand Xia's men are all heroes who will bleed for the grand Xia and even sacrifice their lives. Their actions were honorable, so don't feel grief. Xia Yuyang patted Xia Yanchong's shoulder. Although he was comforting them, the sadness in his eyes couldn't be mistaken. Master, disciple had disappointed you. Xia Yanchong suddenly knelt in front of the white-haired elder. Too ashamed to look at him, the white-haired elder looked at Xia Yanchong with remorse. He shook his head and helped him up. He could see that Xia Yanchong's undefeatable aura had vanished. He couldn't help but sigh inside. Cultivating the undefeatable Dao was incredibly difficult. Not being defeated in a whole lifetime was almost impossible. Right now, the one who felt the worst about this had to be Xia Yunchong. He was powerless. Imperial father, you were. Xia Yunchong looked at this huge army that was burning with killing intent. They were the elites of the Grand Xia, and the majority of them were kings. If you hadn't come out alive. I would have personally mobilized the Grand Xia's army and annihilated the Grand Han's capital as revenge for you. Xia Yuyang's voice was full of killing intent. He had seen a few clues and knew this was done by the Grand Han. It's not so simple. We have to quickly return to the Imperial Palace. I need to give you a full report, said Xia Yunchong hastily. Seeing how serious Xia Yunchong was, and knowing his character, Xia Yuyang didn't say another word. He directly activated a transportation formation, and they all arrived in the capital. What? The Blood Kill Hall, Ancient Races, and Pill Tower all participated. Xia Yuyang was in a room at the palace with Long Chen, Xia Yunchong, Xia Yunfeng, and the white-haired elder. When Xia Yuyang heard the whole story, he was shocked and infuriated. The white-haired elder's expression was also cold. The four ancient nations were situated outside the cultivation world and didn't participate in the cultivation world struggles. These powers had truly gone too far. But whether it was the ancient races or the Bloodkill Hall, the Grand Shia wasn't able to provoke them. And there was no need to even mention the Pill Tower that was supported by Pill Valley. However, for these three great powers to publicly violate the Four Nations Treaty and support the Grand Han in annihilating the other three nations' people was going too far. Long Chen, tidy up your affairs. I'll send you away, said the white-haired elder suddenly. Xia Yanchong nodded along. Long Chen, let my master send you away. My Grand Xia won't be able to protect you this time. Leaving now is your best option. Long Chen shook his head, relaxed. There's no need for you to worry about me. In truth, I was the one who implicated the Grand Xia this time don't spout nonsense. The Grand Han had clearly been plotting this for a long time. If it hadn't been for you, Xia Yanchong was infuriated to hear Long Chen try to take responsibility for this. Long Chen waved his hand. Don't get so emotional. Let me finish. I don't care how long the Grand Han was plotting this secretly. My arrival definitely caused them to carry out their plans in advance. So I was still a factor in this. For so many of the Grand Xia's brave warriors to lose their lives. I feel guilty. And there is an inescapable responsibility that rests on me. Child. If it hadn't been for you. 
This generation of my grand Zaya's experts would have been annihilated. Don't even mention the word guilt, said Xia Yuyang. He was speaking from the heart. Originally, he had already made his preparations for a battle to the death. But because of Long Chen, the grand Zaya's flame of life was not yet blown out. Xia Yanchong had even absorbed the dragon vein energy of the Grand Han, Grand Chu, and Grand Zhou from Han Wenjin. Now that he had returned, his dragon vein energy reconnected to the Grand Zaya's dragon vein, strengthening the Grand Zaya's karmic luck. In the end, the Grand Xia had benefited because of Long Chen. In the future, the leader of the four nations would definitely be the Grand Xia. As for the other three nations, they had no excuse to reclaim their dragon vein energy. The only other possibility was that the Grand Xia, Grand Chu, and Grand Zhou would devour the Grand Han, and the four ancient nations would become the three ancient nations. However, the four nations wouldn't do such a thing. This was also part of the four nations treaty, because the four ancient nations were the only peaceful lands within the Central Plains. If the four nations chose to go to war, the Central Plains would no longer have any pure lands the Central Plains powers would definitely interfere. So even though such a huge-scale war was essentially impossible, the Grand Han had done such an outrageous thing, and the three ancient nations had countless other ways to target them. Their decline was set in stone. As for the Grand Shia, so much karmic luck had gathered there, they would flourish in the future. Long Chen's contributions to the Grand Shia were immense. So Shia Yuyang told him to never say he felt guilty about this. Since Uncle Shia wishes for me to not say it, I won't. In any case, I'll just say that this matter has irritated me extremely. In the Four Nations Ancient Remnant, I didn't even have time to search for treasures. I was simply hunted like a dog. If I didn't have such a hardy life, I'd have long since died. I, Long Chen, am not the kind of person to accept such a thing lying down. I have to give them their corresponding reprisal, said Long Chen. Hearing this, even Xia Yuyang and the white-haired elder were shocked. They looked at him in disbelief, feeling like they had misheard. Within the Four Nations' ancient remnant, Long Chen had killed seven rank eight celestials. Li Wanji and Han Bijin had even been killed in one blow by him. The Blood Kill Hall's twin assassins, the Eagle, Tiger, and Elephant Race's experts, not one of them had managed to escape. They had heard that Long Chen had even used a pot to snatch away their ancestral item. After killing that many of their experts, after snatching away their ancestral item, he was the one who felt like he had lost out? Wasn't he a bit too crazy? Even people like Xia Yuyang and the white-haired elder who had seen the world had never seen someone as domineering as that. Long Chen, when the ancient races, Blood Kill Hall, and Pill Tower join hands, this region is basically dominated by them. That's especially true of the Pill Tower. They have numerous henchmen that will respond and moss to their call. The Grand Shia will soon be surrounded. And even if your Zhuanshan Dao sect's master came, he wouldn't necessarily be able to save you, said Shia Yuyang. The Pill Tower can be basically eliminated from any calculations. That old idiot Dan Tang, I can play him to death with his pitiful brains. As for the Blood Kill Hall, they only assassinate targets in the same realm. Within the same realm, those twin assassins said that they are this region's strongest assassins. For now, there won't be any stronger assassins sent, as it's impossible for them to send Jade Core assassins after me. Then they would really lose all face. As for Foundation Forging assassins, I can send them all to reincarnate and see their killing god. So, the only power that can threaten me is the ancient races. The ancient race alliance is truly powerful, but I am just a foundation forging disciple, and they couldn't possibly use their full force to attack me. If those three races asked for support from the entire alliance, they'd also lose face. And so at most, the opponents should be limited to the experts from those three races. Although each one of them has the power of a sect, I'm not afraid of them. That's why I don't need to leave. The Grand Shia also doesn't need to care about them nor is there any need to mobilize your army. Just leave it to me, said Long Chen calmly. Seeing that Long Chen could remain so calm in the face of the three powers threat, Xia Yuyang and the white-haired elder were shocked. His analysis of the problem was spot on. For him to be able to see a problem so clearly while under such a threat, 
It seemed like his sudden rise was no coincidence. But despite how confident he seemed, the two were still worried. Long Chen, think carefully. You are dancing on the tip of a blade like this, warned Xia Yuyang. If Long Chen left now, then with the white-haired elder's power, it was extremely likely that he could be sent away without anyone else being the wiser. But the more time that passed, the more dismal those odds became. It could be imagined that the Pill Tower and those three races would immediately send people to lock down the Grand Shia, making sure to cast an inescapable net. I know. Don't worry, Long Chen smiled. In truth, Long Chen had his own calculations in his mind, and those calculations told him that leaving now was already too late. He was sure that after he had killed Dan Chu and snatched the blazing dragon cauldron, the pill tower had already started sealing the Grand Xia's border. Not even a mosquito could fly out of those transportation formations. Whether it was Dan Chu, the blazing dragon cauldron, or his own secrets, the pill tower had to take them back. The thing that gave Long Chen the biggest headache was that bastard Xuan Jizi. It seemed that the old fellow truly had skill. If he could predict which way he would leave, then no matter how powerful the white-haired elder was, he wouldn't be able to protect him. So it was impossible for him to leave. But he didn't get that angry about this. He felt that as soon as he had started cultivating the nine-star hegemon body art, there had never been a pause in being hunted. He had long since grown accustomed. The one thing he refused to allow was for him to implicate others as he was hunted down. Especially not people like Xia Yanchong and Xia Yaoluo who he treated as his own family. Long Chen had to give them an explanation, or he'd feel bad inside. Seeing how Long Chen had already made his decision, Xia Yuyang didn't try to force him to leave. Xia Yanchong was called over by his master. From his tone, it seemed that they were going to get closer to Han Wenjin to see if Xia Yanchong could rediscover his undefeatable Dao. This was why Xia Yunfeng had stopped Xia Yanchong from killing Han Wenjin in the ancient remnant. Xia Yunfeng had been calm. Xia Yanchong's undefeatable Dao had been broken because he had knelt to Han Wenjin. He who caused the trouble should fix it. That was why he had kept Han Wenjin alive. Long Chen also took his leave and went to the Wine God Palace. But he had only just walked out of the palace when he suddenly smiled coldly. Turning, he slapped a person across the face. Chapter 1228 Building an Underground Power Translator Born to be Paunavalun.com The person Long Chen slapped appeared to be a Confucian scholar in his 30s. He carried a folding fan in his hand and truly looked scholarly. He was in the midst of walking down the road and admiring the scenery when Long Chen's slap struck him across the face. The scholar blasted into the distance, and a clear handprint appeared on his cheek. His face even deformed. Bastard, why would you hit me? roared the middle-aged scholar. This caused quite a disturbance. Even some of the city guards came over. Currently. Long Chen was not that far from the imperial city's entrance. That was a restricted area, limited to the royal family. Normal people weren't allowed to approach. For them to cause a ruckus in front of the imperial city, the city guards were just about to scold them when they saw Long Chen's face. They hastily shut their mouths. Last time, Long Chen had cut off Li Wangji's head in the imperial palace, and that had shaken all of Grand Xia City. Within Grand Xia City, only a few people didn't know who Long Chen was. Thus, seeing that it was him, those guards acted like they didn't see anything. Did no one ever teach you it's rude to curse at people? Long Chen also roared back at this person. The scholar almost coughed up blood. You're the one who hit me out of nowhere. I hit you so you think you can curse me? Completely unreasonable shouted Long Chen. You, the scholar didn't even know how to retort to that. He had never seen anyone so unreasonable as to declare a person couldn't curse back when someone hit them. His face was swollen like a pig's. You're a Confucian scholar, making you a disciple of Confucius, a model for etiquette, an embodiment of morality and virtue. Even if I hit you, you should have asked me why, to determine the truth of the matter rather than instantly cursing me. Understand, sneered Long Chen. In truth, this fellow was no Confucian scholar. His cultivation base was hidden, but he couldn't hide his hostile aura from Long Chen's senses. For this person to have put on such a meticulous disguise, he was clearly here to spy on him. 
so Long Chen had directly slapped him to test it out. As a result, Long Chen found that this person was a soul transformation expert, a person on the level of a hall master. Although he had done his best to disguise himself, at that moment of life and death, he had reflexively defended. The power of Long Chen's slap could kill a king if they were caught off guard, but this person was only left with a handprint. His status was instantly exposed. The scholar then roared back at Long Chen, quibbling over whether he had a right to curse him. He hadn't even noticed that he had already revealed himself. Long Chen was full of disdain. For such an idiot to still be alive was a miracle. Why did you hit me? Demanded the scholar. Don't try such useless things on me. Go back and tell your master that I'll be busy for the next few days. And I'll handle them when I have time. Scram. Long Chen once more slapped the scholar. He was still shocked over how he had been recognized when he was struck. And as a result, he was once more sent flying. This slap was even more vicious and the scholar shot out like a shooting star, crashing into a wall. That wall let out a light barrier, causing him to rebound. The scholar vomited a mouthful of blood. Within it were also dozens of teeth. Just at this moment, the scholar's aura was fully released. Everyone was shocked to find that he was actually a soul transformation expert. He had no choice but to unleash his aura, as that slap from Long Chen had almost killed him. If he continued to hide his cultivation base, he'd be killed. He rapidly retreated, on guard for Long Chen's next attack. A bright sword appeared in his hand, and Sword Chi wrapped around him. His expression was solemn. This was his first time encountering such a powerful slap. He was preparing himself for a mighty battle when he suddenly realized Long Chen's figure had vanished. There's no need to look. He already left. You should hurry up and scram. Your little cultivation base isn't worth a second glance in my Grand Shia, said one of the city guards disdainfully. Thinking about it for a moment, he couldn't help but add, soul transformation experts as weak as you are truly rare. It's my first time seeing such a thing. Can I ask, how did you possibly survive to this point through the cultivation world struggles the scholar's expression sank. He left without a word, with his status exposed. He had no choice but to leave. Long Chen didn't kill him, because he wasn't even worth it. He was just a spy, with an ordinary cultivation base and weak combat power. He was clearly just an errand boy, and killing him had no meaning. Most likely, such a person would only be able to suck up to others for the rest of their life. Their true power was pitifully weak, and Long Chen couldn't be bothered to kill him. Long Chen simply wanted to use him to pass on the word to the pill tower. It was unlikely he came from the ancient races, because the ancient races disdained to work together with other sects. Only those people who wanted to suck up to the pill tower would act as errand boys. Long Chen was warning the pill tower. They wouldn't dare to enter Grand Shia City because the Wine God Palace was there. When the Wine God Palace had expelled Pill Valley's experts back then, they had said that Pill Valley's subordinates were not permitted to set foot within the Grand Shia. The Wine God Palace was a mysterious existence. No one knew their true power, but Pill Valley truly hadn't dared to start any conflicts with them in the past few years. So within Grand Shia City, Long Chen was definitely safe. As for why he was warning the Pill Tower, he was intentionally infuriating them to make this matter even bigger. Long Chen continued forward. Suddenly, he felt someone pull on him. He was startled and he followed him into a wine house. Seventh Elder, what is it? Whispered Long Chen after they found a table to sit at and ordered a few wines and refreshments. I heard you're in trouble? Do you need my help? Asked the Seventh Elder. The current Seventh Elder looked like a traveling wanderer. His face had been transformed. But Long Chen instantly recognized him through the specific aura of the original devil race. I'm fine. It's just some insignificant trouble I can handle. Seventh Elder, let me offer you a cup. Long Chen poured out two cups of wine and offered one to him. The seventh elder smiled and drank the cup, but his expression quickly changed. What fine wine? Of course it was fine wine. This was the wine made by the wine god palace's disciples. The seventh elder had never drunk such wine before. I'll give you a few jars. How is the development on your side? Asked Long Chen as he poured more wine for the seventh elder. Everything's going smoothly, but the more we grow, 
the more we find that we don't have enough money. Many of my skyscraping world's resources cannot be taken out and sold openly. We can only grow slowly, said the seventh elder. The original devil race had been gathering all kinds of resources, but as they expanded, their wealth was unable to keep up. After all, developing a business required capital. That took time to accumulate, but they were all in a race against time. Time was pressing. The Martial Heaven continent had countless resources, but the original devil race could only gain through their regular channels, as they didn't have special connections. Hence, their progress was slow. Furthermore, the original devil race had to be extremely careful. Any clue might expose them, and then it would be extremely troublesome. A horse only gets fat by eating at night, and only a person that adapts and goes beyond conventional means gets rich. As I see it, you should see if you can form a connection with the ancient races. One reason is that they have plenty of money and a huge amount of resources, and the other reason is that I have a good relationship with them. In the future, I'll be able to cooperate with them many times. I'll plunder them and you sell the things back to them. Use their own money to make money, said Long Chen. Do, do you really think that's a good idea? The seventh elder was shocked. Long Chen truly had guts. After taking what was theirs, he wanted to sell it back to them? That was too evil, as well as too dangerous. It would raise suspicions. He, seventh elder, have you not heard of money laundering? Long Chen smiled. What are you talking about? He, it's something that can't see the light of day. After reselling something several times, it'll become true gold. To put it more simply, first, you have to shock the ancient races with your power, making them feel like you aren't easy to provoke. You will buy a few treasures of the ancient races from a mysterious underground organization, and then you will sell them to the ancient races. They will definitely have suspicions, but that's fine. The cultivation world has many black markets. Some people will obtain objects from the corrupt path even from the righteous path's hands, and then they'll stealthily sell those things to the corrupt path. This is a common occurrence. The ancient races' items are also sold on the black market, but for their face, the ancient races will always disguise themselves as another power when they buy them. That's why you need to form another underground power, so you will be able to work on this from two angles. Furthermore, that underground organization must be vicious. It would be best to immediately snatch some of the property of some other underground powers to intimidate them. It'll be difficult at the beginning, but if it succeeds, the profits will increase by tens of times. Only by making money from both the open market and the black market is it possible to quickly accumulate wealth, said Long Chen. Right now, this was the only way to accumulate wealth quickly. Long Chen's target was the ancient races, because he had quite a few things from the ancient races in his hands. Those three spatial rings from the three ancient race geniuses were filled with treasures, but those things were mostly only useful to the ancient races. Furthermore, many of them were marked, and selling them openly would be a slap in the ancient races' face. In this case, any open sellers would be hunted down, but it was also true that these were things that ancient races needed. They knew the black market had sellers of these things, so they always had people stealthily buying them in the black market. Things sold on the black market were all normally at least 30% cheaper than at the open market. Alright, since you think this is possible, I'll go gather a few experts and establish an underground power. The seventh elder wasn't able to resist this enticement in the end. Don't worry, seventh elder, as long as this is done properly, it'll definitely make a killing. After all, the things you're selling came to you for free. Long Chen handed over three spatial rings. Chapter 1229 Punched and Kicked Translator Born to be Long Chen spent a long while conversing with the seventh elder. The original devil race didn't know that much about the situation in the outside cultivation world. Long Chen hadn't personally come into contact with the black market, but he had been told of it by Zheng Wenlong. Apparently. The profit that could be gained in the black market was frighteningly high, but it was also extremely dangerous. Many of the things sold there were objects that could not see the light of day. They could easily incite hatred and hostility. 
It was precisely because they were objects that couldn't see the light of day and couldn't be sold in the open market that they could be obtained for sometimes just a tenth of their true price on the black market, and then sold for 50 to 80 percent. That kind of profit was enough to turn anyone's eyes red. Long Chen suggested this risk because it was worth it. It might be a bit difficult in the beginning, but once everything was set up, they would obtain unprecedented profit. Furthermore, he knew the original Devil Race was extremely powerful and was definitely capable of establishing themselves in the black market. In truth, those underground powers were usually formed of runaways or fugitives. This was a high-risk and high-reward option, because while there was a huge profit to be gained, they could easily anger the other powers. A single mistake could cause their own destruction. Furthermore, the underground powers were very complicated and any of them was capable of pulling dirty tricks for their own profit. But with the original Devil Race's power, Long Chen was confident they could establish one or even two underground powers and slowly infiltrate their way in. With that done, the original Devil Race would have businesses in both markets and could rake in more profit. Long Chen warned the Seventh Elder that the underground world was violent and bloody. They had to treat it differently than the open market, or there would be consequences. He proposed a feasible strategy to the seventh elder. By carrying out that plan, it wouldn't be long before they could establish their own territory in the underground world. Originally, Long Chen didn't need to make things so troublesome. He could simply send word to Xia Yunchong or Zheng Wenlong, and the original devil race would be able to develop rapidly. But he chose not to do this. If there came a day when the original devil race was exposed, he would have implicated his friends so he only wanted to rely on himself. Furthermore, he predicted he would be fighting a long battle against the ancient races and the Pill Tower. Unless he died, they would fight to the last man. Long Chen wasn't a kind-hearted man. If someone dared to raise their blade against him, he would dare to cut off their head, no matter who they were. The Pill Tower's items were usually useful to him, but the ancient races' treasures were mostly useless. They would just be trash if he kept them. So hearing the seventh elder's troubles, he thought of this business. In this way, when he snatched the ancient race's treasures, he could give them to the original devil race to sell. After ironing out some details, Long Chen once more asked about Yu Ziaokian, but she had yet to come out of seclusion. Leaving the wine house, he went toward the Huaian auction house, but after two streets, he sensed he was being watched. There was a king at the end of the road wandering aimlessly. He looked completely ordinary in the crowd, but Long Chen clearly sensed his hostility. With the nine-star hegemon body art senses, it was completely obvious to him. No matter how much someone tried to disguise themselves he would recognize them as enemies. They dare to act so brazenly. Long Chen frowned. Whether it was that middle-aged scholar or this ordinary king, they were all idiots with garbage combat power. Although their disguises were good, they were unable to hide their hostility. This kind of person was just cannon fodder. Why would the Pill Tower send such people to observe him? But Long Chen quickly realized the crux of the problem. These fellows were probably not even sent by the Pill Tower. They were simply taking this initiative to suck up to them. Because the Pill Tower's ability to summon supporters was so great. All they had to do was put out some news and there would be countless people willing to work for them. Of course, the more people there were, the more the good and bad would be intermingled. The Pill Tower's experts didn't dare to enter the Grand Shia due to the Wine God Palace, but the disciples from other powers could enter. As long as they didn't cause trouble in the Grand Shia, they wouldn't be violating the Four Nations Treaty. 1, 2, 7, 8, Damn. The Pill Tower's influence truly is immense. As Long Chen continued walking, he sensed over ten hostile auras. Some of them didn't even bother disguising their actions. They directly took out jade plates and wrote something on them. They should be transmitting some information. He had seen brazen people, but never anyone so brazen. Long Chen was infuriated. Long Chen walked up to one of them, and without a word, slapped him across the face. The king's mouth split open and half his teeth flew out. Do you know why I hit you? After slapping him, Long Chen clutched his throat. With half his face caved in and his throat caught in Long Chen's grasp, the king was absolutely horrified. 
He had only been sent here as an extra. No one had told him there would be danger. Seeing him not speak, Long Chen slapped him a dozen times. Who said you could not speak? You're pretty tough. Eh? Hey, um, brother, it's not that he doesn't want to speak, but that he can't speak with your hand on his throat. One of the passers-by couldn't bear to continue watching and spoke out. Oh, it seems that's true. Long Chen apologetically let that person go. As soon as he was free, that person raged. Why did you beat me up? But he had only just spoken and Long Chen once more slapped him multiple times across the face. If I knew, why would I ask you? This king's cultivation base was completely ordinary, and he wasn't even close to a match for Long Chen. He was like a chicken caught in his grasp, unable to even fight back. At this time, the person who had advised him realized something was off. He saw quite a few people suddenly retreat into the distance. Fuck off. Just at this moment, someone in the crowd charged at Long Chen, trying to subdue him. As a result, Long Chen sent out a kick that landed squarely on his crotch, sending him flying. As for the king in his hand who was almost unconscious, he threw him out so that he crashed into the other one. They crashed into a building, and that building's formation activated, causing them to rebound and cough up blood. To the idiot spying on me, you should back off a bit. Right now, my mood's not very good. If you anger me, don't blame me when I execute you before saying anything. Long Chen's gaze swept over the crowd. Long Chen truly was furious. Even if they had to spy on him, they should do it from further away. Seeing them be so brazen as to watch him from so close, his fury soared. This was too far. They were looking down on him. Bastard. We only came to the Grand Shia for some sightseeing. For you to say we're spying on you. What proof do you have? One of the kings stood up and pointed at Long Chen in righteous indignation. As a result, a blood-colored light flashed, and he exploded into a bloody mist. Living a too peaceful life really has turned you into an idiot. I'm not a judge or a bailiff. I'm not going to play the proof game with you. If you want to follow me, then fine. But remember, my temper's not good. I like to use the blade in my hand to talk reason with others, said Long Chen coldly. You tyrant. Is this what the Grand Shia has become? Another king stood out, but his words were cut off halfway as the same blood-colored light flashed, turning him into a bloody mist as well. Everyone was shocked. Long Chen's first attack had come too suddenly for them to see, but they had seen the second slash. That saber instantly sealed any of that person's retreat paths, and despite taking out a martial weapon to block, that king was still killed. His weapon shattered. If you want to die, go ahead and follow me. Long Chen turned and walked away, but he had only walked down two roads when his figure vanished. Just at this moment, another figure hastily fled in the crowd. I said that people who want to die can follow me. Looks like you really want to die, so I won't let you down. Long Chen let out a punch. That person didn't even have time to release his aura. He hastily took out a huge shield. But what shocked everyone was that Long Chen's fist blew through the shield and blasted that person to bits. This king item shield had no effect. The shield landed on the ground with a clank, like thunder in their hearts. They became covered in a cold sweat. Then looking back at Long Chen, they saw he had already walked away. At this time, everyone slowly approached the king item shield. When they saw it clearly, they sucked in a cold gasp. The king item was covered in cracks. It had just been a bit away from shattering. He broke a king item barehanded? What a terrifying physical body. The surrounding people felt their hair stand on end. This was too frightening. How could a physical body become so terrifying? Amongst them were people who had been sent by their sects to monitor Long Chen. They felt a burst of fear in their hearts. When they had been given this mission, they hadn't been told how dangerous Long Chen was. They had thought they were just spying on an insignificant foundation forging disciple and treated it as just some easy work. But now they all knew that they had been thinking too simply about this. Spying on Long Chen was too dangerous. He was practically a demon star. You know, I've suddenly gained some insights and have to go into seclusion. One of them shook his head and made a random excuse before running. This was too dangerous. It was nothing like what he had heard. The others also left. Their sects wanted to suck up to the pill tower, but in truth, the pill tower didn't care about them. 
They were essentially snubbed no matter what they did. They had only been doing this to perhaps gain a favor. But this favor wasn't so easy to gain. Long Chen ignored them. He directly walked into the Huaian auction house. Once the boss came to see him, Long Chen handed him a photographic jade. Chapter 1230 Sending You Enormous Good Fortune Translator Born to be Long Chen stopped in the Huaian auction house for a full two hours. He only left once he was sure he had clearly expressed all his intentions. Long Chen knew that the entire Grand Xia was under the watch of the Pill Tower. The few transportations formations were definitely under their control, and as soon as he left, he would meet terrifying experts waiting for him. Even if he didn't use transportation formations, the pill tower had countless dogs to do their work. Getting out of their blockade was extremely unlikely. Once he left the Huaian auction house, he found that those amateur idiots had lessened by quite a bit. One in the opposing tea house and one in the alley. Yes and there's one in an even further place. It's much more peaceful. Long Chen smiled faintly. It seemed his intimidation had been quite effective. Those people were too irritating. For them to be so brazen and treat him as if he was prey was unbearable. Long Chen went to the Wine God Palace. On the way, he sensed countless experts within Grand Xia City. Practically every place was under the watch of an expert. It was clear the Pill Tower was already monitoring all of Grand Xia City. But these people were in set places. They were eating, drinking, or simply sitting in some corner. They didn't dare to follow Long Chen. Long Chen ignored these people. As long as none of them dared to follow him like a housefly, he wouldn't be bothered to kill them. Entering the Wine God Palace, the first thing for him to do should have been to offer incense to the Wine God's portrait. But this time, the greeter didn't give him any incense and allowed him to enter directly. Once he was inside the Wine God Palace, as he walked through the tranquil land, he felt his worries fall from his heart. No matter how chaotic and bloody the outside world was, the Wine God Palace still felt like a wonderland, a pure land untouched by the mortal world's vexations. The mountains and scenery were still the same, but he didn't see a single person. He arrived in front of the High Priest's Palace Gate and was just about to open his mouth when the High Priest's soft voice rang out. Enter, walking into the palace, he saw the high priest sitting in lotus style with a faint smile on his face. He didn't even look like a cultivator. He seemed more like a content and kind elder. Come and sit. Have a taste of my new product. The high priest placed two small wine bowls on the table. He poured out a bowl of wine from a jar for Long Chen. The wine was amber-colored and viscous like honey. It had a fragrant aroma, and seeing it, Long Chen was absolutely shocked. This wine actually had countless runes flowing within it like stars flowing in the night sky. High priest, you succeeded cried Long Chen. It can't count as success. It's just a start. But I have to thank you for it. So try it. The high priest smiled. Long Chen raised the bowl and drank it in one gulp. When the wine entered his throat, it felt warm and his whole body relaxed. Then his body shook. The 108,000 immortal platforms in his body automatically began to revolve. At the same time, the orbit of the stars in the night sky appeared in his mind. Their revolution contained boundless mysteries, making him feel enlightened. His heart became clear. High priest skills are truly divine. You really did succeed in merging the void-breaking star pill into the wine. The wine energy moves the stars. The fragrance frees the cosmos. The revolution of the stars is the movement of the cosmos, and the fragrance cleanses the mundane heart. This is a realm of shedding one's mortality and becoming an immortal. This little one is far too lacking for this wine, and my drinking of it is a waste of a treasure. Long Chen was full of admiration. Back then, Long Chen hadn't had any hopes of this really working. He had picked out an extremely ancient pill formula from his pill sovereign memories that could theoretically be merged into the high priest's wine. But while the theory worked, there were many, many areas that could cause failure. Long Chen had simply felt that giving other people formulas and not the high priest would make it seem like he was lacking ability. So he had thickened his skin and wrote what he could. But he hadn't expected the high priest to really succeed in merging the void-breaking star pill into the wine. And so quickly at that. Furthermore, there was no way for him to evaluate the effect of this wine. Because its level was too high. It wasn't something Long Chen could comprehend with his current realm. 
All he felt was this wine had already merged with the heavenly deos and had surpassed the scope of his understanding. Inside, he prostrated himself in admiration toward the high priest. All he had done was propose a general framework and given some suggestions, but the high priest had actually managed to make such a unique divine masterpiece. Haha, <laughs> I'm humbled. Not just anyone could state the wine's mysteries so simply. Furthermore, this wine formula was greatly beneficial to my own enlightenment. Through a few alterations, it can be said that I have peered onto a new path. Long Chen, I am extremely grateful to you, said the high priest emotionally. No, this little one does not dare to accept your praise. Long Chen bitterly smiled. The high priest's realm had reached a level he couldn't imagine, so he naturally couldn't accept credit. Child, here. These two jugs are my current greatest masterpieces. I'll give them to you. The high priest handed two foot tall jugs to Long Chen. Then many thanks. These were treasures. And Long Chen wouldn't stand on courtesy. Nor would he act like he was. He directly took them. I heard you've run into some trouble. If you have any difficulties. You can go ahead and voice them. Although my wine god palace doesn't like battle. We have some ability. Said the high priest. To tell the truth, I actually have some plans for the Wine God Palace. Well, more accurately, I have some plans for a certain person. Long Chen scratched his head, embarrassed. Ha 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 ha, I understand. Little fellow, you really are evil. That's fine. My Wine God Palace will not interfere with the personal grievances of its disciples. The High Priest suddenly laughed. He had clearly seen through Long Chen's intentions. Child, you can go now. You were extremely helpful to the Wine God Palace this time, and if you need any help, just ask. This was a promise. Long Chen hastily rose and bowed. Many thanks, High Priest. I will remember this favor. This promise was far too precious. What kind of joke was this? The Wine God Palace was an existence not even Pill Valley dared to provoke. With this promise, his confidence grew. Long Chen didn't like asking for help and he definitely wouldn't unless he had no choice. But with this promise, he had another layer of protection. Leaving the high priest's palace, he felt completely relaxed. He hadn't gotten far before someone blocked his path. Little brat, I've been waiting a long time for you. The one blocking Long Chen's path was the fierce-looking Tu Kai and Shang. Oh, fatty Tu, are you challenging me again? To tell the truth. I really admire your ability to continue challenging me despite losing over and over and over again. Long Chen smiled evilly at Tu Kai and Shang. For some unknown reason, he felt like today's Tu Kai and Shang was different from before. Cut the bullshit. This time, I'll definitely beat you. But before our fight, come try my new peerless divine wine. Tu Kai and Shang suddenly summoned a table and poured two bowls of wine. Tu Kai and Chang was different from the other disciples. He roamed about the Wine God Palace without a specific area to himself. He went wherever he wanted. Cheers. Tu Kai and Chang and Long Chen sat down, touching their bowls. Long Chen gulped it down. While watching Long Chen drink his wine, Tu Kai and Chang smiled. You fucker. You damn fatty. You dare. Long Chen's expression suddenly changed. Boom. Long Chen's divine ring suddenly appeared behind him, and four stars emerged in his eyes. His 108,000 immortal platforms crazily revolved as his energy involuntarily erupted, causing the void to shake. Long Chen did his best to suppress this energy. If he allowed it to simply erupt, the surrounding land would be blown apart. His face turned red from how hard he was holding back. Now he understood why he had felt the fatty to be a bit different today. So he had already made a new kind of wine and was conning him. If he allowed his energy to erupt, then the surroundings would definitely be destroyed. Although the wine god palace wouldn't say anything, it would be too embarrassing for Long Chen. Ha ha ha. Tu Kai and Chang laughed upon seeing Long Chen's miserable plight. Tu Kai and Chang felt like he had never been so carefree. Ever since knowing Long Chen, he had been stifled to the point of wanting to murder someone. Now he was finally venting, and he felt like dancing. You damn fatty, cursed Long Chen. But then he suddenly shut his mouth and focused. Tu Kai and Chang's wine was like gunpowder. It instantly ignited all his energy, and Long Chen needed to vent this energy somehow. 
but he also couldn't release it and had to continuously suppress it. He was shocked. This wine's energy was absolutely terrifying. It was actually stimulating his potential. Although he had only drunk one bowl, he could feel the wine stimulating his body's hidden potential. His physical body was once more strengthening after being strengthened by the Mandara body tempering pills. Don't worry, let it out. No one will laugh at you. The more you hold back, the smellier it'll be when it comes out. Tu Kian Chang laughed uproariously. Long Chen ignored him. After several breaths time, he managed to suppress this torrential energy, but he was truly moved. After suppressing it, he could clearly feel his physical body had been strengthened through this domineering stimulation. You damn fatty, you dare to con me like this. Long Chen glared at Tu Kian Shang, who was currently smiling. He, don't be so petty. A man should be magnanimous. Tu Kian Shang patted Long Chen's shoulder, but that smile made Long Chen want to slap him. This wine's not bad. Give me as much as you have. Long Chen patted the wine jug. Do you have no shame? Why should I give it all to you? Demanded Tu Kian Chang disdainfully. Because I'm about to send you some enormous good fortune. Long Chen laughed mischievously. Chapter 1231 Swindling Tu Kian Chang Translator. Born to be Tu Kian Chang suddenly had a bad feeling upon seeing Long Chen's look. Brat, don't even think about doing anything crazy. Although he didn't know what Long Chen was planning. After drinking with him a few times. He could tell just from Long Chen's eyes that he was up to something evil. TCH. Coward. I haven't even said anything. And you're already beating the drum of retreat. In the future, don't ask me to drink with you again. Said Long Chen disdainfully. You think you can provoke me like this? Who do you think I am? Before I fled to the Wine God Palace, I dominated these lands. I've seen all sorts of people. And I know your type. I'm not going to take your shit. Clearly, Tu Kian Chang was someone with great experience and wouldn't fall for his bait so easily. He took out another jug of wine. This was a different wine that wasn't so intense. After all, that previous wine was not used for casual drinking. Long Chen received the jug and poured two new bowls of wine. He disdainfully said, When did you ever dominate the lands? Weren't you chased down by the ancient races to the point that you had nowhere to go? Weren't you hunted like a dog? Saying that you fled to the wine god palace is truly accurate. If you didn't flee like a dog, all that fat on your body would have been turned into a great stew for the ancient races. HMPH. The ancient races just have too many people. They had hundreds of people in the same realm chasing after me and even people with higher cultivation basis. Was I not supposed to run and instead just throw my life away? Raged to Kian Shang. Back then. Tu Kian Chang had exterminated several headquarters of the ancient races, completely infuriating them and causing them to move out in great force. But even surrounded by countless experts, he had killed his own path out. The number of experts he had slain had shaken practically the entire central plains. Most terrifying of all, through three years of running and counter-attacking, he used his soul transformation cultivation base to fight across realms and slay three of the race leaders hunting him down. Those race leaders had all been terrifying life star experts. At that time, Tu Kian Chang had caused quite the sensation. However, his actions ended up completely infuriating the ancient races, and they sent out supreme experts, heavily injuring him, just as he was about to be killed. The wine god palace's people saved him and he joined their worship of the wine god. Although Tu Kian Chang had been defeated in the end, no one dared to laugh at him. Instead, they were full of admiration for his domineering manner. A defeat is a defeat. Why bother making excuses? When I was surrounded by powerful enemies, I was also fighting across realms. I've seen all kinds of sinister schemes. Well, that's not really important. Fatty. I'm planning on giving you some great fortune. Whether or not you can take advantage of it will be up to yourself. Long Chen drank a mouthful of wine and used his sleeve to wipe his mouth. Are you telling the truth? You're just a foundation forging brat. What kind of fortune can you send me? Snorted Tu Kian Shang. Not believing him. You ungrateful fellow. If it hadn't been for my formulas, would you have been able to refine that wine? If it hadn't been for my formulas. 
would you have been able to reserve your baleful aura? Why don't you think for yourself who else bothered giving you such fortune other than me? Cursed Long Chen. He had noticed that Tu Kian Chang's baleful aura had lessened a great deal. Previously, his cultivation technique had been too domineering, and his accumulated killing intent had been too strong, which had caused a kind of special baleful aura. This baleful aura stemmed from the depths of his soul, and he hadn't been able to suppress it. That was why ordinary people hadn't even been able to approach him. They would be affected by that baleful aura and become berserk, easily infuriated, and might even have an urge to start killing. Only someone like Shia Yaluo who possessed a pure and simple heart and had never participated in true slaughter was an exception to that. Shia Yanchong had seen Tu Chang several times before, but that had always been from a distance. He had also been afraid of being affected by that baleful aura. The other wine god palace's disciples all cultivated different wine deos, and most of them enjoyed a peaceful and quiet life. That was different from Tu Chang's wine dao and so the rest of them didn't interact with him either. That was why Tu Kian Chang was now unable to retort to Long Chen. It had been Long Chen's formulas that had benefited him, allowing him to gain insights during the winnemaking process. He had learned how to reserve that baleful aura. It was also because he had reserved it that the wine he made had also become reserved. It now looked calm on the surface and would only ear up once it was drunk. That was also how he had conned Long Chen just now. Putting it nicely, Long Chen had already given him good fortune. This was something extremely helpful to his cultivation and insight. So there was nothing for him to say back to Long Chen's cursing. HMPH, it was just a joke. And you took it so seriously? What a petty little man. Just drink your wine, and conveniently, you can tell me what this good fortune is. Tu Kian Chang poured Long Chen a bowl of wine, which could count as an apology. Long Chen wasn't really angry, and drinking it, he said, due to the wine drunk between us, we can now count as brothers what the fuck, are you taking advantage of me? Tu Kian Chang almost spat out his wine, he was someone who had swept through the continent 3000 years ago, and now Long Chen wanted to call him brother? TCH, calling you brother is my respect for you, I feel like you're a hot-blooded man. Do you think just anyone has the qualifications to be my brother? Said Long Chen disdainfully. Fine, I can accept that. Thank you for looking favorably upon me, brother. Tu Kian Chang was speechless. This brat really was arrogant. But thinking of what the high priest had told him, he felt much more at peace with this. He was someone even the wine god wouldn't dare to accept incense or a kneel of worship from. Being the brother of such a figure seemed like it truly could raise his status. Seeing Tu Kian Chang listening seriously, Long Chen began to tell a story full of righteous indignation. When I heard you were hunted down by the ancient races, I was extremely displeased. Who do the ancient races think they are? They are just hybrids between the human race and the Xuan beasts. Back then, the human race was the leader of the world while the Xuan beasts were nothing more than secondary existences, only fit to be the human race's mounts and war beasts. Envious of the human race, and in order to get closer to the heavenly deos, the Xuan beasts sent members of their race that could take human form to mate with the human race, and that's the only reason the ancient races were born. Then the human race declined, while the ancient races felt superior to them in terms of cultivation and they abandoned their human bloodline declaring themselves descendants of only the Xuan beasts. For them to look down on us, for them to bully us, just looking at these fellows that forget their roots makes a person angry. Furthermore, they dared to hunt you down. That's completely unacceptable. If it were up to me brother, that all happened many years ago. Can you get to the point? Tu Kian Chang was a bit speechless as he saw Long Chen become more and more indignant, as if the one who had been hunted down back then had been him. The point? I want to get justice for you. I definitely won't let this matter rest as is. How can I allow my brother to be bullied like this? I've already investigated this matter. Back then, there were three fellows who heavily injured you. Those ones were the most hateful, and one was the giant eagle race, one was the barbarian elephant race, and one was the tiger race said Long Chen, staring closely at Tu Kian Shang. Wait a moment. 
I have some recollection of that barbarian elephant fellow. He hit me in the back with a club, almost taking my life. But I don't remember a giant eagle race or a tiger race. Tu Kianchang frowned. Long Chen smiled inside that he had guessed one right. He said, Do you not remember? Back then, there were too many people attacking you. But it was those three that formed a three-side blockade around you. If it hadn't been for the giant eagle race and the tiger race's experts cooperating, would that barbarian elephant expert have managed to hit you? You know what? Now that you say this, it's true. Back then, there were too many of those ancient race idiots around, and I was pretty much crazy with my slaughter. That's right. I remember. There was a fellow with wings who kept attacking me, and there was a clawed fellow too. So that's what it was. Tu Kianchang nodded in comprehension. Long Chen laughed inside. There were quite a few ancient races with wings, and even more with claws. Well, as long as Tu Kianchang felt like he was right, it was fine. In order to get revenge for you, I slaughtered the three races rank 8 celestials. Don't you think your brother has worked quite hard for you? Long Chen patted his chest. His manner was as if he had only done it in order to help him vent. Long Chen gave a rough summary of what had happened in the Four Nations ancient remnant, but the general meaning was that he found the ancient races distasteful and was getting justice for him. Hearing that Long Chen had killed three of their rank eight celestials, all with higher cultivation bases than him, and even one against five, Tu Kianchang was truly moved. Wait, didn't you previously say that you once provoked the Heavenly Fate Pavilion? At that time, you didn't even know me said Tu Kianchang suspiciously. As expected, the longer you talked, the easier it was to see through your lies. After bragging too much, it was hard to take it back. In order to express his own sincerity, Long Chen had even said that he had gone against the Heavenly Fate Pavilion because of Tu Kianchang. Back then, if it hadn't been for Heavenly Fate Island, Tu Kianchang might not have been defeated. But once he said that, the times no longer matched up. His own words ended up exposing him. But just who was Long Chen? When it came to the thickness of his face, no one could match him. Who said I didn't know you? You might not have known me, but I knew you. A long time ago, I heard about you and felt you to be a real man. Why couldn't I stand up for you? Said Long Chen. You shameless scoundrel. After spouting all that bullshit, you just want me to help you handle the trouble you caused for yourself? HMPH. Don't even think about it. Tu Kianchang wasn't so stupid as to fall for it though. You think I can't handle it without you? I'm just giving you a chance to get revenge. If you don't want to, then fine. Said Long Chen impatiently. Are you telling me you want to use the favor I owe you from last time? Demanded Tu Kianchang. What nonsense. I, Long Chen, treat you as a brother. Do we need to calculate our favors like this? Let me tell you. This has nothing to do with that favor. As your brother, I helped vent for you, so you have to help vent for me. Furthermore, you'll still owe me that favor, declared Long Chen. What the fuck? How are you so shameless raged to Kian Shang? But a bit of his iciness faded. If Long Chen was using that favor from back then for this, he would have found it unacceptable. But this shameless method of Long Chen's made him feel a bit closer instead. So what if I'm shameless? When your brother needs help, are you not going to help? Furthermore, do you not want revenge? Said Long Chen dauntlessly, once more putting out the bait. I do, but I'm a disciple of the wine god palace. It's not convenient for me to do such a thing. Said Tu Kianchang hesitantly. It was true that he had never had a chance to relieve his anger of that matter, leaving a knot in his heart. He, no worries. I've already helped you handle the high priest. Long Chen smiled mischievously. Really? Then, then let's teach them a lesson they'll never forget. A vicious light appeared in Tu Kianchang's eyes, as well as a trace of excitement. Chapter 1232 Watched by All Parties Translator Born to be within the Zhuanshan Dao sect, Li Xiangxuan, the Tower Department Head, and Liu Kang were in a private room, their expressions somewhat grave. Xuan Master Long Chen is trapped within the Grand Xia ancient nation by the Pill Tower. They've already set up layers of blockades. The ancient races are also moving. Long Chen is in danger, 
said Liu Kang worriedly. News of what was occurring on the Grand Xia had already spread. Within the Four Nations' ancient remnant, Long Chen had killed the Pill Tower's top genius, Dan Chu, as well as snatched away their ancestral item, the Blazing Dragon Cauldron. He had completely infuriated the Pill Tower. The Pill Tower had already sent out word that anyone who dared to harbor Long Chen would be viewed as their enemy. Following the fury of the Pill Tower, those powers closely related to the Pill Tower sent out their experts to seal the Grand Xia's borders. The transportation formations were packed with experts. Apparently, there were dozens of sects helping, and of course, one of them was the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect in order to put on a show of its power. The Pill Tower had all those sects move out in full force. There were even over 10 experts on the level of sect masters, as well as innumerable soul transformation experts. Clearly, the Pill Tower was doing this as an intimidation tactic, to make sure Li Xiangxuan had no ability to stop them. It was also a warning to the other sects not on the side of the Pill Tower. This matter has grown too big. Our Zhuanshan Dao sect can do nothing, said the Tower Department head. The news the Pill Tower had released was that the Pill Tower's expert, Dan Chu, had been invited into the ancient remnant by the Grand Han in order to help them search through the remnant secrets. He had had no ill intent, but Long Chen had grown greedy for Dan Chu's treasures and killed him for them. Although this kind of nonsense was something anyone with the slightest brains would see countless holes in, the Pill Tower was the Pill Tower. What they said was the truth. Furthermore, this truth would be testified and confirmed by countless other sects. That was their irrefutable evidence that no one could quibble with. To put it even more simply, if Pill Tower pointed at a pile of crap and said it smelled good, then countless other sects would say that it smelled good. There would even be people who would grab it and lick it to prove that was the truth. In the cultivation world, the actual facts weren't important. Only power was important, and the Pill Tower had that power. Li Xiangxuan was silent, his eyes closed in thought. He looked like he was thinking about how to resolve this problem. I think the best option would be to go request aid from the Martial Heaven Alliance, proposed Liu Kang. The tower department had shook his head. It's useless. The Martial Heaven Alliance only looks after things that happen within the Alliance. This matter occurred in the Four Nations Ancient Remnant, and there are no eyewitnesses or proof. The Pill Tower just needs to continue with their story that Long Chen killed their disciple for his treasures, and there's nothing anyone can do. The Martial Heaven Alliance has no excuse to interfere, and it's not in accordance with their rules. As for the four ancient nations, they are situated outside the cultivation world, and there's the Four Nations Treaty making this matter even more complicated. One little mistake can cause a huge, chaotic war that will destroy the four ancient nations leaving their territory and resources to be snatched by the various large sects. Slaughter will ensue, with option after option shut down. Liu Kang couldn't help but sigh, bitterly smiling. That little fellow's ability to provoke trouble grows greater and greater. Even we can't handle it anymore ever since Long Chen had arrived at the Zhuanshan Dao sect. The sect had basically been flipped by him. Now he had only left for a short time, and he had provoked unprecedented trouble. It was like he was intentionally trying to prove his ability to cause trouble. Xuan Master, what is your opinion? Asked Liu Kang. Li Xiangxuan slowly opened his eyes and lightly said, There's nothing to do. We'll just watch for now. If there really is no other option, then there's no need for the reincarnation mirror to maintain our karmic luck. I will bring it out and kill them until heaven and earth are flipped. What Liu Kang and the tower department heads expressions changed. The reincarnation mirror and the Zhuanshan Tower were the Zhuanshan Dao sect sect protecting divine items. They were also what maintained the sect's karmic luck and could not be used lightly. Using them would damage the sect's karmic luck. Last time in the Eastern Sea, because the reincarnation mirror had to be used to maintain the sect's karmic luck, Li Xiangxuan had merely used the reincarnation mirror's projection. If he had used its true body, it would have caused major damage. Long Chen must stay alive, even if the price was greater, it would have to be done. That little fellow once said an interesting thing, the weak fear the strong, the strong fear the stronger, and the stronger fear the fearless. If the pill tower wants to play, we'll accompany them. 
My Zhuangshan Dao sect has been silent for too long, making others think we're a toothless lion. We need to prove our teeth are still sharp. Li Xiangxuan smiled slightly. That smile contained confidence and resolve, showing how serious he was. Lu Kang and the tower department head's hair stood on end. It seemed the Xuan master was truly infuriated. Perhaps the central planes were about to be shaken. Just at this time, light flashed through the room, and a runic letter appeared in front of them. A secret message from the Huaian sect. Li Xiangxuan couldn't help being shocked. This was a secret communication method between the Huaian sect and him. It usually wasn't used except in urgent cases. Li Xiangxuan pressed a finger against the letter. The letter immediately turned to dust, while a formless wave of energy spread. Haha, <laughs> that little fellow Long Chen has some skill. We don't need to worry about it. Li Xiangxuan suddenly laughed, causing Liu Kang and the tower department head to look at each other blankly. In a distant place, there was a high mountain with a sharp cliff side. It was like a heavenly blade that had been stabbed through the ground. Atop the cliff was a simple wooden room. The cold wind was like blade sweeping through the peak, bringing with them a whistling sound. The wooden room had countless scars on it like blades had slashed it. If a forging master saw the room, they would definitely be shocked. That was because this room was actually made of an extremely rare golden thread spirit wood. Its hardness was comparable to a king item, and its toughness was even greater than a king item. Such a powerful material had actually been made into a shabby room. Those scars on it were from the wind, showing just how terrifying these blades of winds were. Even a soul transformation expert would be annihilated without defending. In front of the room was an elder with drooping white eyebrows and gray robes. He was sitting with his eyes closed, shockingly ignoring the terrifying wind. Old man, it seems Long Chen is in trouble, reported a very tall and large muscular man. Is it big trouble? Asked the elder lightly with his eyes still closed. So so, can he handle it himself? I doubt it. Then tell old seventh to take a trip. It's still the old rules. If he doesn't have to, he's not to interfere. Children need to mature on their own. Taking advantage of when they're still young to suffer a bit isn't a bad thing, said the elder. Is he to be brought back this time? Up to him. Don't force him. The large man nodded and his figure disappeared from the cliff. The elder was still sitting with his eyes closed as if nothing had happened. Returning from Tu Qianchang's home, Long Chen felt especially relaxed. He had finally managed to get Tu Qianchang to agree to help him. In truth, Tu Qianchang's enmity with the ancient races was deep. In the past, he rarely mentioned what happened, even when drinking. But this time, it was unknown if he had drunk too much, but he had gotten emotional and told Long Chen a bit about what had happened. Back then, he had had a little brother who had also been shockingly talented. Although he had also been someone with a fiery temper, he had been an upright person. According to Tu Kian Shang, the reason for his enmity with the ancient races stemmed from how the ancient races had once been making things hard on a beautiful female cultivator, and his little brother had helped her, killing several of the ancient races' experts to save her. Later, that woman had ended up becoming Dao companions with his little brother, but good things rarely lasted. The ancient races surrounded them, and although his little brother fought valiantly, that female cultivator still died under their assault. In his grief, his brother started a slaughter, and as a result, he became surrounded by experts from the ancient races. The first son of one of the ancient races' leaders was killed by him. That infuriated that ancient race and they established a heaven-encompassing net to kill him. Tu Kian Chang had immediately rushed over to help when he heard the news, but he was still one step too late. He arrived just in time to see his brother die. The ancient race's experts were about to take off his brother's head and investigate his origins. They wanted to exterminate his entire family to defend the prestige of the ancient races. Tu Kian Chang had immediately exploded. He had not only killed all those experts, but he had also gone to hunt their race and annihilated them, even killing the race leader through a suicidal move resulting in a heavy injury. His vengeance for his brother caused the ancient races to hunt him down. There was no room left for mediation noveloon.com The ancient races also didn't care about any excuse. There was no reasoning that would stop them from their hunt. They just had one thought. 
Those who offend the ancient races must die. When he mentioned this matter, Long Chen could sense too Kian Chang was still filled with resentment over it. Even this many years of cultivating the Wine Dao hadn't erased that hatred in his heart. Now that he had agreed to work with Long Chen, the two of them were immediately on the same page. Returning to the Imperial Palace, Long Chen asked Xia Yuyang about the situation. He learned that all of Grand Xia City was under the watch of the Pill Tower. There were also countless experts from many sects surrounding the Grand Xia. At this time, there was zero chance that Long Chen could leave. Furthermore, he heard that people from the ancient races had come, but they hadn't entered the city. That's all fine. This is just the start. If things go as I expect, they'll quickly come and apply pressure to the Grand Xia. At this time, not even the Grand Zhou or Grand Chu sent people to communicate with us. That means that the Pill Tower has already used some kind of means to make them temporarily set aside their condemnation for the Grand Han. So in all likelihood, the Pill Tower's next move is to build up public opinion. To make it so people think I am an irredeemable devil, a heaven Caesar, whatever fits. Hmm, have they already started? Long Chen suddenly noticed that Xia Yuyang and the white-haired elder's expressions became a bit odd. Yes, they've already started. Everywhere in the city, people are stealthily spreading propaganda about you. But how did you know they would do that? Asked Xia Yuyang. He, the pill tower only has a few childish tricks. They know that if everyone in Grand Xia City is cursing me, my family, and my friends, I'll have to either start killing them, or leave. Killing them won't solve any problems, and with the pushing of a few people, it'll just make me seem worse and cause more problems. So I'll only be able to leave. They probably only know how to make such a simple strategy. Long Chen spread his arms helplessly. Xia Yuyang and the white-haired elder were speechless. Long Chen was practically more wily than a wily old fox. But seeing how indifferent and prepared he looked for such a thing, they could only allow him to do what he wanted. Ah, senior, how is brother Yan Chang? Has he rediscovered his undefeatable Dao? asked Long Chen. But after asking this, he saw their expressions become dim. Chapter 1233 Yao Luo Suicide Translator Born to be seeing their expressions, Long Chen had a bad feeling. As expected, the white-haired elder shook his head and sadly said, Heart Devil, Han Wenjin had been killed by Xia Yanchang. Originally, by killing the person who ruined his undefeatable Dao, there was a definite chance of recovering that undefeatable Dao. But regretfully, Xia Yanchang's heart devil was too heavy. It might not just be Han Wenjin. I suppose I am also within his heart devil, said Long Chen. The white-haired elder and Xia Yuyang were both startled, but they quickly realized what he was saying. On one hand, Xia Yanchang had been forced to kneel. That disgrace was one thing. But also, in terms of combat power, he had been shaken by Long Chen's power. Within the Four Nations' ancient remnant, he had instantly killed Li Wangji and Han Bijin. He had then fought against five powerful rank eight celestials. And finally, when his opponents unleashed all their trump cards, unleashing ancestral items and being supported by their powerful elders, they were still slaughtered. That had deeply shaken Xia Yanchang. Of course, everyone else seeing it had also been shaken, but Xia Yanchang was the only one who cultivated the undefeatable Dao. This had been a large blow to him and adding on his previous humiliation, it had become impossible for him to recover it. Ah, people get foolish when they're old. Why didn't I think of this? The white-haired elder sighed remorsefully. In truth, the reason he hadn't thought of this detail was because he had been in too much of a panic. Regretfully, Han Wenjin was now dead, and everything was futile. Don't give up just yet. I have a method that might be able to work. Long Chen stood and said goodbye to them. Going to Xia Yanchang's residence. Once he was gone, Xia Yuyang and the white-haired elder looked at each other, feeling like they had lived so many years for nothing. We're old now. They both sighed, but a trace of hope had now appeared in their eyes. According to the Dragon Vein calculations, Yao Luo was fated to run into a huge calamity. I thought something would have happened to her this time, but instead, she's fine, and the calamity struck Yanchang instead. Is this because of Long Chen? wondered Xia Yuyang. The dragon vein calculations are very accurate, 
but those calculations can only deduce the fate of your Shia family. Long Chen is not a member of your Shia family, and due to his arrival, everything has become muddled. There's no way to calculate anything. Let's just watch. The white-haired elder looked at the wall, and an image appeared on it. Long Chen was walking into Shia Yanchang's residence. Shia Yanchang was currently staring blankly at a pool. Did you come here to comfort me? Shia Yanchang's voice was bitter. This matter was a huge blow to him. It felt like he had instantly gone from an unrivaled expert to a pitiful wretch. He had also become more sensitive. What would I comfort you for? You're a man. I came to drink with you. I swindled quite a bit more wine from the wine god palace this time. So let's drink. Long Chen dragged Xia Yanchang into a small pavilion and took out a jug of wine. Xia Yanchang originally wanted to say that he wasn't in the mood to drink, but then he felt like declining would be saying he was weak, like he couldn't handle his loss. So he sat down. Here, drink this one first. It was made by a female cultivator. It's incomparably rich, with a long-lasting aftertaste. Long Chen poured Xia Yanchang a bowl of wine. Xia Yanchang drank it in one gulp. At this time, all he was doing was acting fine. There was no way for him to appraise how good the wine was. His heart was already filled with chaos. Long Chen also drank a bowl. The two of them didn't speak as they continued drinking. After over ten bowls of wine, Xia Yanchang suddenly collapsed on the table and began to bawl. Long Chen didn't say anything. He continued to pour wine and drink himself. He knew the wine's energy had already taken effect. This female cultivator's wine focused on the heart, on stimulating the seven emotions and six desires. It allowed a person's emotions to be released completely. Xia Yanchang was an iron man. He had bled countless times in his life, but he had never cried. He kept his sorrows in his heart. In that aspect, he was similar to Long Chen. They never said everything to others simply suppressing what was within their hearts. With his undefeatable Tao broken, his heart in chaos, and the stimulation of this wine, all Xia Yanchang's emotions poured out. After a while, Xia Yanchang seemed to be feeling much better. He took a deep breath. Brother Long, thank you for the wine. I feel better do you want to rediscover your undefeatable Tao? asked Long Chen, putting down the wine. Brother Long, you. Xia Yanchang looked at Long Chen with shock. If this question came from someone else, even his own master, he'd think they were just trying to comfort him. But coming from Long Chen, it made his dead hope rekindle once more. I asked if you wanted to rediscover your undefeatable Dao Long Chen poured out another bowl of wine, repeating himself. I do. Of course I do. Brother Long, please help me. Xia Yanchang clenched his fists, filled with expectation. Then let me ask you, what is the undefeatable Dao Long Chen looked at Xia Yanchang? It's, Xia Yanchang became stupefied. Long Chen sipped his wine and smiled. Your undefeatable Dao depends on walking on a path of cultivation where you remain undefeated. But can such a thing truly exist? With an undefeatable Dao heart, can you really be undefeatable? If you really were undefeatable, you wouldn't just be undefeatable in the same realm you would be undefeatable regardless of cultivation base, power, and rank. All experts should be cabbages waiting for you to harvest however you want. By pissing, you could drown them. By farting, you could blast them to death. That is the only way to be truly undefeatable but, that's impossible. Xia Yanchang shook his head. Within the imperial palace, Xia Yuyang and the white-haired elder were calmly watching this scene to see how Long Chen would talk Xia Yanchang around. But this undefeatable Dao he was describing was far too exaggerated. Exactly. So you shouldn't care about some undefeatable Dao. Because that thing is just nonsense. Previously, you asked me if I also cultivated the undefeatable Dao. And I said I didn't. Back then, you didn't quite believe me. But in truth, even I don't know what exactly I'm cultivating. All I know is that whoever provokes me will die. Even if I can't beat them. I'll wipe some snot on their faces. On the other hand, just like you, I maintained an undefeated record against the same realm. But I never meticulously did anything to maintain that record. Even if there came a day when I was defeated, it wouldn't matter. Because what I seek is not to be undefeated, but to protect the people by my side. 
Victory or defeat means nothing to me, said Long Chen. To protect, Xia Yanchang seemed to understand. Let me tell you a story from my childhood. It came from a drunk bald man bragging near the city gates. He said this, the body is like the Bodhi tree, while the heart is like a mirror. It must be constantly and diligently wiped to prevent dust. Back then, I didn't know what that Bodhi tree was, but that person said that it was a kind of legendary tree of wisdom. It is a symbol of wisdom and comprehension. You can be likened to that. Your undefeatable Tao is like that Bodhi tree. You carefully grew it, defending it, afraid of any little bit of damage. But do you think if the Bodhi tree is damaged, a person would become an imbecile? Without the undefeatable Tao, will you become a coward? Asked Long Chen. Xia Yanchang was silent. It seemed Long Chen's words were reasonable. At the same time, he felt like he truly had overlooked something. Then that Baldi said this. The Bodhi had no tree, and the mirror had no back. Neither existed. So where did the dust come from? Hearing Long Chen say such a thing, Xia Yanchang's entire body shook. He looked at Long Chen in shock, seeming to grasp hold of some crucial thing. Even Xia Yuyang and the white-haired elder were shocked. Their eyes shone brightly as they comprehended something. Whether or not the Bodhi tree truly exists is something no one knows. It is just a metaphor for your undefeatable Tao. For example, you planted a Bodhi tree and it grew with you making you feel like the Bodhi tree made you smarter, wiser, capable of comprehending 10,000 deos. Now that you've lost the Bodhi tree, you have no direction. You don't know how you're supposed to exist without the Bodhi tree. But without the Bodhi tree, your wisdom is still there. Without your undefeatable Tao, your undefeatable heart still exists. You simply blinded yourself to its existence, said Long Chen. Brother Long, I think I understand. Xia Yanchang felt the knot in his heart weaken. No, you still don't get it. Being undefeatable isn't something you have to maintain all the time. That would just be a mental illness. Could it be that when we drink, you always have to drink more than me? That you always have to eat more than me? Could it be that when it comes to pissing, you have to make sure you can piss further than me? Asked Long Chen. Um, no, said Xia Yanchang awkwardly. Since there's no need for that. Why bother about temporary losses or wins? Being undefeatable isn't something constant. There is only one time you must be undefeatable. When the things you care about are threatened. Because at that time, if you are not undefeatable, you will lose the most precious existence in your life. That kind of pain isn't something we can bear. So when we are undefeatable, it is because we must be undefeatable. Because we have no choice but to be undefeatable. Said Long Chen. Brother Long. I understand. Xia Yanchang suddenly regained his confidence. His eyes also recovered their light. Xia Yuyang and the white-haired elder looked at each other, both of them incomparably gratified. The knot in Xia Yanchang's heart had been undone. That was amazing. This way, he could slowly find his undefeatable Dao heart once more. Sometimes just understanding isn't enough. You need to experience it. Here, try this wine. Long Chen handed Xia Yanchang a bowl of wine. Xia Yanchang was too preoccupied to even notice that this was not the same wine that they had been drinking before. Think of when Yao Luo had her throat caught in someone else's hand. Her life might have been crushed at any time like an ant. What would you do? Long Chen's voice suddenly changed, seeming to echo from all directions. His vast spiritual strength moved with his voice. Xia Yanchang drank the wine. His eyes became scarlet and all the energy in his body erupted. He was just about to suppress it when he heard Long Chen's voice and seemed to see Xia Yaoluo caught in someone else's hands. Rumble. Xia Yanchang's energy erupted like a volcano, and a powerful qi wave unfurled. An undefeatable will shook heaven and earth. Long Chen finally sighed with relief. Even duping people was tiring work. It needed a step-by-step -step sequence. Xia Yanchang had regained his undefeatable will, and he was full of delight. He was just about to thank Long Chen. Not good. Princess Yao Luo has committed suicide. Xia Yanchang's expression completely changed, and with a furious roar, he flew out like a gust of wind. Chapter 1234 Don't Be Too Evil Translator Born to be Xia Yao Luo was lying on her bed quietly. Her face still had turstins on them. Her eyes were closed. 
and she looked like she had simply cried herself to sleep. But right now, her heart had already stopped, and her spiritual fluctuations had disappeared. The lively and cute girl had become a lifeless body. Xia Yuyang, the white-haired elder, Xia Yunchong, Xia Yunfeng, and the others were all present. Xia Yunchong was crying as he held his little sister, unable to believe this reality. Xia Yuyang was holding a piece of paper with beautiful lines of words on it. After reading through those words, Xia Yuyang closed his eyes in pain. Xia Yaoluo had said that this time, so many of the Grand Xia's experts had died because of her. Her brother's Dao heart had also been destroyed, severing his cultivation path. She blamed herself. She felt herself to be a disgrace to the Grand Xia's imperial family, and she was too ashamed to face her father, brothers, or sisters. She was also too ashamed to face the commoners. Only by dying could she retrieve the Grand Xia's imperial family's dignity. How could you be so foolish? This wasn't your fault. Xia Yunchong held Xia Yaoluo, weeping. Xia Yaoluo was the little sister he had doted on the most. He would rather he have died than her. But now, he was unable to do anything. In the end, it was still impossible to escape this calamity. Xia Yuyang sighed in pain. Originally, he had thought the calamity had already passed. But in the end, calamities weren't so easily avoided. It's all right. Stop crying. Yaoluo hasn't died. She's just in a state of quasi-death, said Long Chen suddenly. Everyone was startled to hear that. Right now, her spiritual fluctuations had completely vanished. How could this possibly be a quasi-death state? Let me. Long Chen sat beside Xia Yaoluo's bed. Seeing the tears on her face, he couldn't help but sigh. Why bother? This matter was not Xia Yaoluo's fault at all. The Grand Han had long since laid down this trap. Even without her, the Grand Xia wouldn't have escaped their losses. By being captured, the only one she had implicated was Xia Yunchong. But she had foolishly thought that everyone had lost their precious time to run away because they had been waiting for her, which was why they had died. Long Chen pressed his hand against her forehead. He had just raised his left hand when he awkwardly said, Uncle Xia, maybe you should all back up a bit. Yaoluo stopped her own heart, and I have to restart it. Cultivators don't have so many misjivings. Go ahead. Xia Yuyang knew what Long Chen was saying, but he didn't care. As long as he could save her, the rest wasn't important. Long Chen could only continue. He took out a drop of the divine life elixir for her and then placed his right hand gently over her chest. Xia Yaoluo had severed her heart muscles. This was the suicide method most cultivators chose. With the heartbeat stopped, a person would slowly fall unconscious, and in the end, their soul would dissipate without the slightest pain. Long Chen needed to reconnect her heart muscles. This was not difficult with the divine life elixir, but with her spiritual fluctuations gone, reviving her was something even a god couldn't do. Everyone was holding their breaths as they watched Long Chen work. Xia Yunchong's fists were clenched tightly, his palms sweaty. He hoped Long Chen really could create a miracle and revive Xia Yaoluo. You don't need to be so nervous. Yaoluo definitely won't die. In the ancient remnant, I already sensed her mental state was a bit off. So I gave her two pills at that time. One was a healing pill, while the other was a nine revolution rebirth pill. When she committed suicide, as her life energy faded, the Nine Revolution Rebirth Pill automatically took effect, harboring her soul within the Niwen, allowing it to enter the most primal state. So you can't sense her spiritual fluctuations, and when she wakes up, her soul will feel weak for a while. But after this rebirth, her mental state will have risen. If you talk to her then, she won't continue being so stubborn and thinking this is all her fault. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier, but I didn't know she would really do this. I only gave her the Nine Revolution Rebirth Pill to guard against all possibilities, said Long Chen as he worked. Hearing his explanation, they all had an urge to prostrate themselves toward him. It was all thanks to how meticulous Long Chen was that Xia Yaoluo hadn't died this time. Long Chen's hand began to shine as spiritual strength entered Xia Yaoluo's head. At this moment, her head shook slightly and her spiritual fluctuations returned. Although Long Chen had told them not to worry, 
Seeing her spiritual fluctuations actually return allowed them to all relax. Her soul had revived, and her heart was once more beating. This kind of short-term quasi-death state posed no harm to her. All right, let Yao Luo sleep for a while. Later, have someone watch over her to talk her around when she wakes up. Now brother Yan Chong's undefeatable Dao has returned, so she has even less reason to feel guilty. Furthermore, she really doesn't need to feel any guilt for what happened in the Four Nations ancient remnant. It should be an easy misunderstanding to fix. Long Chen stood and stretched. I'll look after her. Xia Yan Chong was the first to open his mouth. Xia Yao Luo's suicide this time had made him feel even more dearly for her. It should be me. I owe this child Yao Luo too much. Don't fight with me over this. Xia Yuang sat beside Xia Yao Luo, rubbing her head gently. He was filled with shame. Living in the imperial family was sometimes sorrowful. Whether it was the emperor, the princess, or the princesses, living like that was a kind of sorrow. They couldn't even enjoy the feeling of familial love like others. Seeing Xia Yuang personally volunteer to look after Xia Yao Luo, Xia Yanchong didn't argue. He left with Long Chen and the others. The next day, as Long Chen had predicted, all kinds of propaganda disparaging him began to spread. Long Chen was a heaven Caesar. Long Chen was a homicidal maniac. Long Chen intentionally drew a disaster to the Grand Xia. Long Chen wanted the Grand Xia destroyed. Long Chen was an evil star. All kinds of rumors spread. The streets were filled with countless people discussing this. Through the full power of the Pill Tower's dogs, all kinds of proof spread, and the public opinion toward Long Chen grew worse and worse. Some people unrelated to the Pill Tower were already starting to call for Long Chen to leave the Grand Xia. There was even a large group of the Grand Xia's original inhabitants that were shouting in the streets for Long Chen to scram. Long Chen merely smiled and said it was fine. Having the Grand Xia's commoners make some extra income was fine. These people were all bought by the Pill Tower, and it seemed they had been bought at quite a high price. Long Chen even had Xia Yuang tell the guards that if they had nothing else to do, they could also join that group. Of course, they would have to ask for a slightly higher price. After all, they had a special status. When Xia Yuang heard Long Chen wanted him to do this, he was absolutely flabbergasted. But after asking around, he found out it really was the truth. These commoners were all being paid a shocking price. Xianchen experts were paid a hundred middle grade spirit stones for one day of shouting. C expansion experts were given one thousand middle grade spirit stones, and foundation forging experts were given ten yuan spirit stones a day. Damn, they really are rich. I even want to bring my brothers from the Zuanchen Dao sect to join in. They'll shout enough to make them bankrupt. Long Chen couldn't help but curse when he heard the price. It was unknown what the price was for Jade Core or Soul Transformation experts, but looking at the previous prices, it was definitely not low. Long Chen, what should we do? This truly is an enticing work. Even Xia Yanchong was affected by this bait. Let's do this. Starting tomorrow, announce that there's a curfew at night. If they still want to shout, they'll have to pay a noise tax. The tax will be in accordance with a person's cultivation base. There's no need to take that much. Just half is enough, said Long Chen. A 50% tax. That's not that much to you. Xia Yanchong was speechless. He had never heard of such a heavy tax. This was too evil. Even if it was higher, they'd continue shouting. Furthermore, the Pill Tower's people have plenty of money. Not making a killing off them would be a waste. Tell the guards to join, and tell them it's time for their families to get rich. We can't let the wealth go to others. Furthermore, it'll make it easier to control. Once more people join in, start raising the price. If they refuse to pay, have your people stop shouting. And since they're not allowed to shout, the others also won't be allowed to shout. If they don't accept the prices, the guards will beat up whoever shouts. As for the price, don't raise it too fast. Just raise it once every few hours, and only raise it by 10%. Remember, don't be too evil, said Long Chen. Raising it 10% every few hours wasn't too evil? Xia Yanchong wasn't able to keep up with Long Chen's thoughts. Is this really possible? Xia Yanchong had never done something like this, and he had no confidence in it. Don't worry, 
according to my years of conning people, this matter has a 100% chance of succeeding. This is your territory. If you didn't con them, wouldn't you be looking down on them? How would you face the commoners of your Grand Shia? You should hurry with this, because after a while, the pill tower will be forced to scram, and there won't be another chance like this to get rich. Under Long Chen's urging, Shia Yanchong thickened his skin and went to see the guards. During the next little bit, the people funding the shouting encountered a great misfortune. The Grand Shia was collecting taxes, and whether people wanted to or not, they had to pay. Those shouters naturally refused for this tax to come out of their own pockets, so the price naturally rose. Furthermore, not only was the price increasing, but even more and more people were joining in on the shouting. The amount of money required to pay them rose slowly, so the backers reduced the number of paid shouters to cut down their expenses. As a result, all of those shouters protested, saying that they wouldn't shout if they didn't bring out enough money for everyone. They were extraordinarily united. If those people didn't shout, they would have failed the mission that the pill tower gave them. As a result, those sects that had been ordered to carry out this mission gathered up their resources to pay them. A single sect would be unable to bear such a price, but they were infuriated to find that more and more people were joining in on the shouting, and they couldn't refuse them. If they refused, the rest would all stop shouting in protest, and there were too many of them, and they refused to allow others to shout if they weren't. There was no way the payers dared to use force against them within the Grand Shia. Either they brought out more and more money, or there would be no shouting. Eventually, there came a day when several million people were there to receive their pay, and every few hours, they would inflate the price. They didn't even shout that much. Most of the time, they were only coming to them for their pay, making the employers infuriated. The Grand Zaya's people were absolutely shameless, but this was the mission the Pill Tower gave them. If they failed at it, they would not only have failed at currying favor, but they would even be kicked away. So those sects could only clench their teeth and bear the pain. They continued paying a huge amount of money each day. Inside, they prayed for Long Chen to hurry up and leave, or they'd end up bankrupt. But today, Long Chen leisurely went to see Xia Yaoluo. She had woken up today. Chapter 1235 A Piece of News Translator Born to be within the Imperial Palace's garden, there was birdsong and fragrant flowers, rock gardens and flowing water as well as small pavilions elegantly placed in various locations. The scenery was so beautiful it looked like the work of a god. This scene had a special kind of feeling to it. Long Chen, thank you. Shia Yaoluo was walking alongside Long Chen. Her face had recovered a bit of its past rosiness, and her eyes contained a particular expression now. However, she no longer had her old mischievous and unruly air. It was as if in a single night. She had matured to the point where Long Chen wasn't accustomed to it. There's no need to thank me. After all, we are battle companions, and our accomplishments, whether it be fighting in the Four Nations Ancient Remnant or swindling wine in the Wine God Palace, are not things ordinary people can compare to. Long Chen smiled. Xia Yaoluo also smiled slightly. She thought of when she had first accompanied Long Chen to swindle wine from the Wine God Palace. That day. There had been crying and laughing, as well as fighting. Now thinking about it, she felt like it had been a lifetime ago. Long Chen, was I really dislikable back then? Sighed Shia Yaoluo sadly. What are you talking about? It's not like you're very likable now either. After saying this, Long Chen immediately felt things were different. According to Shia Yaoluo's old character, she should have immediately flown into a rage and started beating him. But now, she simply lowered her head and didn't say anything. He awkwardly said, Girl, if you're going to be like this, I won't joke around with you any longer. Long Chen still preferred the previous naive and simple Shia Yaoluo. Although that Shia Yaoluo had been unruly, willful, and somewhat violent, those were her characteristics. She was like a newborn baby, and whatever she did, she had no schemes or other intentions. Everything she did was instinctual. But after experiencing what she had, it was like she had matured overnight. But by maturing, she was no longer the old Shia Yaoluo. Maturity did not depend on age, but on experience. Only by experiencing pain would a person mature. 
That was because they had no choice but to mature then. Now she knew her own responsibility and how she was supposed to bear it. Once a person matured, they naturally had to lose some things. Perhaps that was the price of maturity. Long Chen, can you still hold my hand as we walk? Xia Yaoluo was a bit red, and her voice all quivered slightly, but there was hope in her eyes. How could I do such a thing? Do you think I'm the type to take advantage of others like that? Although that was what came out of Long Chen's mouth, he had already taken hold of Xia Yaoluo's hand. Xia Yaoluo smiled, feeling the warmth of Long Chen's hand. She felt an unprecedented sense of peace. Walking while holding Long Chen's hand, she said, Long Chen, you're a good person, thank you, but you absolutely can't say such a thing. Long Chen shook his head. Why not? asked Xia Yaoluo. Long Chen looked up at the sky and worriedly said, People who often say things that go against their conscience will be struck by lightning. Xia Yaoluo laughed and lightly hit him. Don't tease me. I'm being serious. I'm also being serious. Do you not hear those people shouting at me to leave Grand Xia City? How could a good person be treated like that? Xia Yaoluo covered her mouth and chortled. Don't think I don't know that you and brother Yanchang are up to mischief. Those people shouting are all your people. You're just taking their money. It's not mischief. One side wants to beat others, while the other side wants to be beaten by others. Both sides are getting what they want. At most, this could be called cooperation. Yes, this is a mutually beneficial cooperation, said Long Chen. That righteous expression of his made Xia Yaoluo laugh once more. Her face was rosy, and a faint sheen covered her nose. Combined with her laughter, it was a picture of lively vitality. This appearance couldn't be called peerless beauty, but it was extremely infectious, enough to make anyone feel like smiling. You should know that this wasn't your fault. There's no need to take all the blame for it. If you want to blame someone wrongly, you can blame me instead. But then it wouldn't be wrong. Long Chen smiled. It could be said that Long Chen was partially at fault. The Pill Tower, Ancient Races, and Blood Kill Hall all wanted to kill him. This scheme had been to target him. My father already told me everything. Only then did I realize he loves me. And my brothers, my mother, they all love me. But my own willfulness blinded me, making it so I couldn't see that. I was full of resentment and dissatisfaction with reality. So I felt like the scenery on the other shore would be much more beautiful, without any flaws. And so I willingly sank into other people's lies. Long Chen, tell me, don't you think I'm very foolish? asked Xia Yaoluo. Can I not answer? I don't want to be beaten, said Long Chen worriedly. You, you're asking for a beating. Xia Yaoluo hit Long Chen. I just knew this would happen. In truth, I don't feel like you're that bad, or that foolish hey, don't hit me. I'm telling the truth. In truth, it was because of your innate pure heart and your father. He pampered you. In truth, Xia Yuang hadn't particularly pampered her. But he had known that there would be a tribulation in her life that she couldn't escape. It was fated. So he hadn't been willing to scold or beat her. Even when Xia Yaoluo went too far sometimes. Thinking of her fate. He hadn't been willing to punish her. The Grand Xia's fortune telling arts with their dragon vein were extremely powerful. Those arts could be traced back to an extremely ancient era. Although they couldn't be compared to Heavenly Fate Island's fortune telling arts. They practically never made a mistake when it came to the Xia family's fortune. But because of Long Chen's arrival, those calculations had grown muddled. Even the Grand Xia's fate had become covered in mist. And it was impossible to calculate anything even with the dragon vein. So what happened is also partially your father's fault. What shape a tree grows into is definitely dependent on the gardener. There's a good proverb. A person should suffer as soon as possible. The earlier a person suffers, the more it will temper their will. Grass that grows in the wild has to endure the tempering of wind and frost as soon as it's born. The reaping of blades, the trampling of horses, it goes through cycles of growth and decline in order to survive. But a flower raised in the imperial greenhouses for 18 years will wither upon a single night's frost. As for you, you were sheltered from a young age, then you suddenly encountered such a huge setback, let alone you. Even I probably wouldn't have been able to bear such a thing. So don't think that you're to blame. 
Who wouldn't have made the same mistake? Experts have to learn through their mistakes and grow through their struggle. Shia Yao Nu Long Chen was saying that her suicide was the act of a weak person trying to skirt responsibility. Suicide only passed on the pain and sorrow to others. That was the least responsible way to act. Before her suicide, she felt like she had let down her big brother. She felt herself to be foolish. And she felt like she had caused the deaths of so many warriors of the Grand Shia. She had thought that only her death could wash away this stain on the Grand Shia. But once she woke up, she realized how foolish she had been. She began to blame herself even more. But now she was also full of warmth and emotion. She knew that everyone around her loved her. After speaking with Long Chen, she felt much better. She grew cheerful once more. Long Chen, how do you know so much? I feel like a child in comparison. Although Long Chen was only a few years older than her, he was much, much more mature. She wished she also had the same ability as him. Isn't it because I had no choice? Sighed Long Chen. Martial strength wasn't the only requirement to live happily. A person needed to be skilled in all kinds of areas to be able to resolve various problems. Long Chen sometimes felt the heavens were forcing him to become skilled in every area. Long Chen, can you tell me some of your stories? Asked Xia Yaoluo eagerly. What's the point of such immoral stories? There's no brilliance to my stories at all. Let's go to the Wine God Palace instead. Long Chen didn't want to talk about himself. He felt like his cultivation path was nothing more than a rain of blood. Since the knot in Xia Yaoluo's heart had already been undone, he pulled her toward the Wine God Palace. He had learned that some of the wine god palace's disciples had already finished making new medicinal wines with his formulas, while others were still in the testing phase. Every few days, there would be a disciple who succeeded. Under the glorified pretense of appraising their wares, he would drink and take all they had. Then, he would point out a few flaws, causing those disciples to almost view him like a god. Other than the high priest, he was the one they revered the most. Once the two of them left the imperial palace, midway, they heard a group of over a million people shouting their slogan, Long Chen, scram from Grand Shia City, Long Chen, scram from Grand Shia City, Novaloon.com Long Chen, scram from Grand Shia City, Shia Yaoluo's expression changed. This phrase was irritating, and she icily stared at those people. Those people also sensed something was wrong. They gradually quieted until they were silent. Looking awkwardly at Long Chen. Don't stop shouting. After taking their money, you have to do your work. Otherwise, if we were to take their money and not do what we were paid to do, it would harm the prestige of the Grand Xia's people. Called out Long Chen. Long Chen didn't mind. If they wanted to shout, then fine. He would just chop off some more of their fat. As long as their cursing didn't target his reverse scale, it was fine. Ah, that's right. The money. It's about time for us to go back and raise the price. Let's go. Cried out one of them suddenly. As a result, this group of over a million people surged out of the city like an angry dragon, instantly disappearing. Even Long Chen was struck dumb. Xia Yaoluo was laughing, holding Long Chen's waist to keep herself standing. The people paying for all this were probably going insane. It seemed the wages of those shouters had already risen over ten times. The price for a million of them had to be frightening. Long Chen was calm toward this. Everything was within Xia Yanchong's control. After all, was this supposed to be a joke? This was his home, his domain. If the other side intentionally came to do business, who else would he con? Long Chen and Xia Yaolu arrived at the Wine God Palace. The days passed very contentedly. Those sects sucking up to the pill tower were feeling the pain of paying this price. Even dozens of them were unable to bear such high expenditure. In the end, the pill tower sent out orders that there was no need to continue shouting. They were gathering hundreds of experts from their sects to speak with the Grand Xia's emperor. But at this time, a piece of news spread, dumbfounding the pill tower completely. Chapter 1236 A loud and resounding slap translator. Born to be the Pill Tower's experts found that commanding the crowds to pressure the Grand Shia was useless. The Grand Shia was too obstinate, refusing to hand over Long Chen. They finally lost their patience. 
The reason the Pill Tower wanted to force Long Chen out was because they didn't want this matter to blow up any bigger. The Pill Tower might be able to dominate these lands, but the four ancient nations were special territories within the continent. They were protected, and even the Pill Tower didn't dare to directly start using martial force. Other than that, there was also the Wine God Palace within the Grand Shia. That was an existence even Pill Valley was apprehensive of. A single pill tower wouldn't dare to mess around with them. But now, Long Chen refused to come out, and they were simply throwing money at the Grand Shia with no effect. It was like a bottomless pit. So the pill tower had gathered various experts right outside Grand Shia City, all at the Life Star Realm. They would enter Grand Shia City and force the Emperor to hand over Long Chen. If he still refused, they would take him forcibly, as long as they didn't harm the commoners. Then with the excuse that Long Chen had killed the Pill Tower's disciple and snatched their ancestral item, the Blazing Dragon Cauldron, it wouldn't count as breaking the rules. Instead, it would be the Grand Shia who was wrong for harboring a criminal. But just as they gathered this huge army and were preparing to move out, a piece of news caused Dan Teng's face to feel like it had been viciously slapped. Pill Valley had sent him an order to return, and it was the highest order. In other words, he had to return to Pill Valley as soon as possible. Along with that order was a photographic jade. When he activated it, Dan Ten turned pale. It revealed a scene. Long Chen was pointing at Dan Chu and coldly snorted. HMPH, is the Grand Han not afraid of the other three nations learning the truth and joining hands to destroy them? Dan Chu sneered. Learning the truth? Once they're killed, due to the lost connection with their dragon veins. Not even their emperors will know who did it. The truth is, some mysterious life forms appeared in the Four Nations' ancient remnant this time, and they slaughtered the Four Nations' experts. Three of those nations' elites were all killed, while the Grand Han also took heavy losses, with only a few imperial disciples managing to escape. What do you think about this truth? Of course, the truth needs to be defended by others. The Grand Han will have my Pill Tower's support as well as the ancient race's protection, and if the three nations refuse to behave, the Blood Kill Hall will pay them a bit of special attention. Tell me, what kind of waves could the three nations possibly cause? When he saw Dan Chu expose all these secrets, even clearly exposing the collusion between the ancient races and the Blood Kill Hall, Dan Ten clenched his teeth so hard that they almost broke. He couldn't comprehend how this brat had been so stupid as to say this. Could it be he hadn't even been able to sense the clear fluctuations of a photographic jade being activated? In truth, Long Chen activated the photographic jade from the primal chaos space, and it couldn't be sensed from the outside. Dan Chu couldn't have known that Long Chen had been recording his crimes. Of course, quibbling over that was meaningless right now. Dan Ten knew this matter was about to get even worse for him. Tower Master, not good. There's a photographic jade that's very unfavorable to the pill tower rapidly spreading just at this time. One of the pill tower's experts rushed over, panicked and holding a photographic jade. But when he saw the photographic jade in Dan Teng's hand, he fell silent. At this time, all the experts Dan Teng had gathered had their expressions change. They had already noticed this matter was about to get serious. Even Pill Valley had been disturbed by this. What happened outside? Dan Ten did his best to calm his voice, but he couldn't stop it from shuddering. That Pill Tower's expert gulped and said, I'm not sure. But suddenly, countless photographic jades spread throughout the cultivation world. There are people selling them in bulk all along the streets. On my way here, I even saw the people guarding the transportation formations watching it. The contents of these photographic jades were what Long Chen had sent to the Huai insect for Jung Wenlong to disseminate. In order to get a better slapping effect, Long Chen told the Huai insect not to immediately spread them. The best time was for the Pill Tower to have gathered all their power and made huge movements to the point that all the various sects and powers were aware of their movements. Only then had Long Chen allowed the Huai insect to spread the massive number of photographic jades they had already duplicated. It had to be known that the photographic jades were spread throughout the world. Spreading this in bulk was far too easy for the Huai insect furthermore. There were others who, when they saw the shocking secrets recorded within, 
also crazily duplicated and sold them to others who still didn't know. As a result, it was like an epidemic had erupted, let alone just the cultivation world's people. Even the ordinary people learned of it. Previously, they had heard the rumors that Long Chen had killed one of the Pill Tower's genius disciples to take his treasures. After the special details from the Pill Tower and the other large sects, Long Chen had been painted as an irredeemable devil. But now, this photographic jade caused an instant reversal. That Pill Tower's disciple had entered the Four Nations' ancient remnant as a trap, a trap targeting Long Chen. They had even ignored the Four Nations' treaty, ignoring the rules of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Now all those sects supporting the Pill Tower were dumbfounded. With this photographic jade, the truth was made known to the masses. Who was right and who was wrong was indisputable. Those people targeting Long Chen, targeting the Grand Shia, targeting the Zhuangshan Dao sect, all felt their faces be slapped. Those people making a hubbub immediately shut their mouths. Everyone knew the Pill Tower had caused a disaster for themselves. They had interfered in the internal matters of the four ancient nations, ignoring the Martial Heaven Alliance's rules for their own selfish desires, and then even intentionally slandered others. That gravely damaged Pill Valley's image. It had to be known that at least on the surface, Pill Valley had to maintain an always neutral appearance. They never directly interfered with the disputes of the large sects. They resolved disputes as neutral mediators, only helping others resolve their problems. But this time, the Pill Tower had gone too far, and they had been caught. The Martial Heaven Alliance was probably about to show its furious side. It's definitely slander from the Huaian sect I've long since heard they have a relationship with that criminal Long Chen. No one else could spread fake news this quickly, said the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect's Vice Sect Master, Ma Zing Kong. Ma Zing Kong truly knew how to speak. Calling it fake news first instantly drew the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect closer to the Pill Tower, but it wasn't able to quell Dan Teng's worry. He felt like his head was about to explode. He didn't even know what to do, and fear started to creep into his heart. Everyone, Pill Valley has ordered me to return, so I must leave. Dan Teng sighed and thickened his face. Then what about us? Everyone was dumbfounded. They had only gathered for him as a show of power. You, you can do as you please. After saying that, Dan Teng vanished. What everyone looked at each other blankly. The host had fled, so staying here was meaningless now. Even if Long Chen swaggered out of the Grand Shia brazenly, would they dare to touch him? What reason did they have? This photographic jade was a supreme slap in their faces. Long Chen was the victim, while the Pill Tower was the bully whose scheme had failed. Even though they hadn't known the truth, they were probably about to get cursed for being blind. Now they had all become idiots who made groundless accusations. They had blindly sucked up to the Pill Tower and slandered a good person. Well. Although Long Chen couldn't exactly be called a good person, it was a fact that they had all become laughingstocks. Everyone can busy themselves. My sect has some things I need to handle, so I won't be accompanying you. I remember, my sect's disciple trials are about to start. I have to go as well. After a moment of dumbfounded silence, they began to scatter. Some hurriedly rushed to Grand Shia City to inform their disciples to pack up. There was no need to waste any more time or money there. Most of them left. But there was one group that didn't. That was the ancient race's people. They didn't care about the righteous path. They simply wanted to settle their debts with Long Chen. No matter what reason Long Chen had, anyone who killed their disciples had to pay in blood. They weren't afraid of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Their ancient race alliance was also powerful. And Long Chen had killed three of their race's strongest geniuses. The ancient races would not swallow this anger. On the other hand, the fact that the Pill Tower's people had left delighted them. Now there was no one to fight over Long Chen with them. Otherwise, if Long Chen landed in the Pill Tower's hands, they couldn't have personally killed him. Although they had already discussed it and decided Long Chen's head would be sent to the ancient races, not personally killing him was still a blow to their prestige. Idiots from the ancient races. Are you still not fucking off? Your mother wants you to return home to eat. Just at this moment, a young man shouted over in their direction from atop the city gates. With that evil smile and lazy manner that looked like he needed a beating. 
Who else could it be but Long Chen? Long Chen was extremely refreshed. As expected, leaving this matter to Zheng Wenlong had been the right decision. He guessed that Dan Teng had even formed an urge to kill himself. Long Chen hadn't said anything to those people slandering him all to give them more time to cause a ruckus. The bigger a ruckus they caused, the better. And the pill tower hadn't disappointed him. They had caused such a disturbance that it shook heaven and earth, as if they had been afraid of people not knowing about this matter. Now they had done it. This slap was absolutely resounding. Not only the pill tower, but its dogs were also struck dumb. It had been a long time since he had done something so satisfying. Long Chen, you little bastard. If you have any gods, you'll come out right now, roared the elder from the elephant race. Seeing Long Chen made his killing intent rise to its peak, thinking of his dead disciple and how his ancestral item had been snatched away, he almost couldn't stop himself from charging in. Idiot. Of course I have gods. I am a human cultivator. If I didn't have gods, how could I have created you hybrids? Sneered Long Chen. For this idiot to make such a pitiful provocation, was he looking down on him? Courting death. The ancient race's experts were infuriated. They were just about to attack when all of Grand Shia City's buildings began to shine, and countless runes whirled over. A terrifying pressure shook the heavens. The protective formation of the city had actually been activated. At the same time, a cry rang out. Anyone who dares to attack within the territory of my Grand Shia will be mercilessly annihilated. The same word for guts also means seed as in the human race's seed made the ancient races. Chapter 1237 Shia Chen Translator Born to be this mighty and domineering sound came from the imperial city. It was the voice of the Grand Xia's emperor, Shia Yuyang. An insignificant ancient nation dares to go against my ancient race alliance. Don't think that we're the pill tower. No one can stop the footsteps of my ancient races, sneered the elephant race expert. How noisy. Who dares to be so unbridled where my wine god palace is? Just at this moment, a cold cry came from within Grand Shia City. Space shook slightly, and a beautiful woman appeared by Long Chen's side. Long Chen was shocked. Wasn't this the female cultivator who had sent him wine? Normally, she was so amicable, like a big sister. Although she hadn't released her aura, she still somehow seemed like a sharp blade about to come out of its sheath. Her eyes contained a reserved light that was incredibly icy. The three races' leaders were stunned. She was actually a powerful life star expert. Even Shia Yuyang was shocked. The wine god palaces had never interfered with the outside world's matters. Even if he went to ask them for help, it would be useless. But now, the wine god palace was willing to come out for Long Chen. Shia Yuyang found that extremely strange. The place where the wine god palace resides cannot be blasphemed. You should leave quickly, or don't blame my wine god palace for being rude and forcibly expelling you. The woman icily stared at the ancient race experts. Their expressions sank. They hadn't expected the wine god palace to interfere in this matter. Furthermore, they were so impolite. The ancient races might not care about the Grand Shia, but they definitely wouldn't dare to look down on the wine god palace. But for the wine god palace to be so rude, if they really left like this, wouldn't they become laughing stocks? Just as the ancient races were stuck in a hard spot, outside the Grand Shia city, there was a large figure wearing a conical hat with a huge broadsword on his back that was indifferently watching. His figure was very large and impressive, but that sword was even larger, and it gave off a heavy pressure. This fellow seems to be Long Chen. What is with that naughty smile? Does he not have the slightest bit of backbone? The large man frowned. Long Chen didn't know that there was someone secretly observing him. Looking at the ashen-faced ancient race experts, he called out, Hurry up and fuck off. In three days, I will be leaving the Grand Shia through the Western Pass. If you have gods, come and fight me then. After saying that, Long Chen and the woman returned to the city. The ancient race experts' expressions sank. What are we supposed to do? I heard this brat isn't the kind to lie like this. Let's go wait at the Western Pass. The ancient races were extremely clear on Long Chen's character. They had already started investigating him in the Eastern Wasteland. Although Long Chen was crafty, when his blood became hot, he would easily do some foolish things. 
But there was one thing that was certain. He always stuck to his word. The ancient race experts left. That large man with the broadsword nodded slightly and also disappeared. Long Chen returned to the Imperial Palace. Xia Yuyang, the white-haired elder, Xia Yanchang, Xia Yaoluo, and the others were all waiting for him. Long Chen, are you really going to leave? Asked Xia Yaoluo worriedly. They were clearly surprised. The Wine God Palace had already appeared and essentially said they would protect him. This decision to leave was unwise. Yes, I don't like having to seek asylum with others. Whether it's the Grand Shia or the Wine God Palace, they can only protect me for a while. They can't protect me for a lifetime. Furthermore, if I'm protected by experts, I'm afraid of losing my drive. I have many things I have to do, and this trial in front of me is just a way for me to temper myself. If I don't even have the courage to temper myself, how will I face my future challenges? So, three days from now, I will leave. The reason I'm not leaving immediately is to say goodbye to you all. Long Chen smiled. Xia Yanchang said, Brother Long, Brother Xia, I've already decided. Don't try to change my mind. You've rediscovered your undefeatable Tao. But as for me, I have to continue with my journey. Don't be sad. Because as long as I live, my name will definitely shake the heavens and transmit throughout the central plains. Parting or not parting is nothing more than a concept of space and time. We'll be close in spirit. Actually being together isn't important. Long Chen patted Xia Yanchang's shoulder. All right, then tonight we'll drink until we're drunk. I'll treat it as helping you practice. Xia Yanchang was also an open-minded and optimistic person. That very day, the Imperial Palace held a large banquet. But during this banquet, Xia Yaoluo ended up drunk. And she laughed and cried while holding Long Chen, making Long Chen a bit upset. Originally, he had had some dislike for this obstinate girl, but later he had seen her kind and pure side behind her willful character. He knew she had formed emotions for him, but these kinds of emotions were very complicated. No one could be sure if it was actually love. After all, Xia Yaoluo had once entrusted all her feelings to Han Wenjin. Later, Long Chen had appeared and her emotions had subtly changed. She had preferred to stay with Long Chen, but it was very possible it was just a young woman's curiosity in something novel, or perhaps a kind of worship for the strong. That wasn't true love. As for Long Chen, he had viewed her as a little sister from the start and hadn't even thought of romantic feelings. But now that they were going to part, he was a bit unwilling. The four ancient nations were outside the cultivation world. They were like a clear pool and Long Chen had only managed to stay a few days within it before he would have to return to the mud that was filled with endless dangers. Having to go on different paths was truly a sentimental thing. Long Chen didn't even know when he ended up drunk. He didn't even remember being carried away by others. The wine god palace's wine was truly powerful, and practically all the Grand Xia's junior generation of disciples had collapsed. The next morning, Long Chen went to see Xia Yanchang. He learned that Xia Yanchang had been summoned to the palace already, and the attendant told Long Chen that everyone was waiting for him. Long Chen hastily rushed over, and he saw Xia Yuyang and the others already present. There was a beast hide on the table. Adopt the beast hide. In immortal characters, were written two characters, Xia Chen. At this moment, everyone was looking at the beast hide with complicated expressions. The beast hide was touched with blood stains and they gave off shocking fluctuations. That was the essence blood of a soul transformation expert. Long Chen was shocked. This was no ordinary essence blood either. It contained all the grievances of a soul transformation expert before their death. Seeing Long Chen arrive, Xia Yuyang said, the capital of the Grand Han was raised to the ground by someone. Other than two life star experts, the rest of the Grand Han's imperial family were all slaughtered what now Long Chen really jumped in shock. Who would dare to do such a thing to the Grand Han? The Grand Zhou? The Grand Chu? That was impossible. Even if they were to do such a thing, they would have done it together with the Grand Xia. Furthermore, they had secretly received payment from the Pill Tower. They had no reason to directly target the Grand Han like this. As if seeing through Long Chen's thoughts, Xia Yuyang said. It wasn't done by the Grand Zhou or the Grand Chu. 
It was done by an expert from a branch of my Grand Shia. Originally, I thought this branch had already died out. I didn't think they would appear now. Shia Yuyang sighed. He told Long Chen one of the Grand Xia's secrets. Thousands of years ago, the Grand Shia had fractured, and a branch of the Shia family had left. Then they had vanished without a trace. The Grand Shia had always thought this branch had already disappeared. But the appearance of this beast hide made Shia Yuyang recall that history. This Shia character, it contains the bloodline energy of my Shia family. It was definitely done by a descendant of my Grand Shia. Furthermore, based on the power of the fluctuations, that bloodline power came from a youngster around the same age as Chang'er and Yun'er. However, to be able to annihilate the Grand Han's imperial family on his own and still escape under the attacks of two life star experts, this expert from the branch is truly terrifying. Shia Yuyang was full of shock and gratification as he looked at the name written on the beast hide. Truly terrifying. I wonder what kind of expert that person is. Long Chen was shocked. For a single person to challenge the Grand Han's imperial family, and for that person to be the same age as Shia Yunchong and the others, that person had to be absolutely monstrous. Shia Yuyang shook his head. It happened too fast and no one had time to record it. According to the reports from some experts, that person was a formation cultivator. He stealthily established a grand formation within the Grand Xia's imperial city, instantly annihilating it. Other than life star experts, the rest were killed instantly. As for the Grand Han's two life star experts, they attacked that person, but he used a formation to escape. He threw a bunch of beast hides like this into the air before leaving. This is just one of them. What is it supposed to mean? Long Chen didn't understand. These two characters should be that person's name. Was it a show of power? No. Long Chen suddenly understood. It was to show why he killed those Grand Han experts. Xia Yuyang nodded. Correct. The four ancient nations disputes are supposed to be resolved through the power of the four nations. It is prohibited to use other people's power. This Xia Chen did this in order to give an explanation to the rest of the world. This is retribution from that branch of the Xia family Xia Chen. It seemed he was also a supremely terrifying expert. He had challenged the Grand Han's imperial family on his own. Were formation cultivators truly so terrifying? Long Chen muttered to himself inside. But this branch of the Grand Xia didn't communicate with them. Since they had left, they didn't want to return. Xia Chen caused huge waves in Long Chen's heart. There were plenty of terrifying experts in this world. Perhaps one day, he would have to fight this Xia Chen. Three days passed quickly. Long Chen plundered all the medicinal wine produced by the Wine God Palace's disciples before saying goodbye to the high priest. Under Xia Yaoluo's tear-filled eyes, Long Chen bid farewell to the Grand Xia's experts. He stepped onto a transportation formation and disappeared. When Long Chen reappeared, he was at the border of the Grand Xia, seeing the huge city gate tower with Western Pass written on it. He took a deep breath, tidying his robes. He stepped outside. Chapter 1238 The Emperor sent me to patrol the mountains translator. Born to be there were quite a few of the Grand Xia's warriors staring at Long Chen's back from the Western Gate. They were full of reverence. Although Long Chen's time in the Grand Xia ancient nation had been short. Practically everyone from the Grand Xia knew him. In the Four Nations Ancient Remnant, he instantly killed Li Wangji and Han Bijan. Then on his own, he fought against five incredibly powerful experts, preventing the Grand Xia's army from being completely annihilated. Now that he was leaving, they had a bad taste in their mouths. Even these guards knew that the ancient races had long since laid down a heaven-encompassing net and were just waiting for Long Chen to leave. After an hour of travel, Long Chen suddenly sneered. He took out an iron pot and a hammer, banging the hammer against the pot like a gong. Clearing his throat, he began to sing. The emperor sent me to patrol the mountains, but he warned me to beware. Little bastards nest within these mountains. An iron pot opens the way. Little bastards scramble to the side. Long Chen banged the pot as he sang. It was definitely not a pleasant song to listen to, as there was no rhyme nor key but each and every word was crystal clear. The ancient race experts hidden within the mountains instantly turned dark-faced. Long Chen was walking through the major national path. 
there were countless mountains to the sides, and it was unknown how many ancient race experts were hidden within. But this singing of Long Chen's had already broken their plot. He was essentially pointing and cursing at them, making them feel like their lungs would explode. Little brat, just a bit longer. Just wait. Once I capture you, I'll definitely make you regret this. Cursed one of the ancient race experts. Although Long Chen had already come out, he was still too close to the Grand Xia's border. They were waiting for him to get a bit further before attacking. When the sun sets over the western mountains, every family has to lock their doors. The bastard stew is accompanied by tiger bones and eagle wings. Banging the pot, words simply flowed out of Long Chen's mouth. They became smoother the more he sang. Elephant tusks on barbecue. Tiger skin as warm clothes. Eagle wings as fans. Plenty of stuff to exchange for tips. That bastard. I'll kill him. I'll definitely kill him right now. One of the eagle race experts had to be held back by another expert. The eagle, tiger, and elephant races experts were all infuriated. They had never seen such a hateful brat in all their lives. This was the absolute worst kind of humiliation. It was disdain toward all of the ancient races. He was actually treating them as commodities. Long Chen continued, singing as he wrapped his pot. Tiger skin is loved by everyone as medicinal paste and elephant tusks can be traded quickly for big money. Suddenly, three ancient race experts appeared in front of Long Chen. There was one from the elephant race, eagle race, and tiger race each. They all possessed powerful soul transformation auras. Their eyes were scarlet, their killing intent almost solid. Now they were finally far enough from the Grand Zaya's border and were finally attacking. But to be safe. They decided to send out three soul transformation experts as a test while the other experts secretly watched. They were also there to prevent anyone else from launching a sneak attack and saving Long Chen. Seeing those three, Long Chen put on a delighted expression. Wow, how fortunate. I was calling you for so long that my throat sore, but at least I finally encountered my clients. For your eyes to be so bright, I can tell that you know what's what. This little one has some excellent eagle wings, elephant tusks, and tiger claws here. Are the three of you interested die? The three soul transformation experts roared furiously and slammed their palms at Long Chen. With the three of them attacking at the same time, heaven and earth rumbled, and incredible pressure locked onto Long Chen. Harud, are you trying to steal my wares? Long Chen suddenly formed hand seals. A huge medicinal cauldron appeared in the air and smashed down at the three of them. Its runes caused the void to buzz. The three soul transformation experts were instantly blown apart by the medicinal cauldron. Three translucent figures appeared in the air. It was their Yuan spirits. It's an ancestral item. Impossible. How can he possibly use an ancestral item? The ancient races experts were all stunned. Ancestral items were normally things that could only be controlled by life star experts. A soul transformation expert would only be able to use 30% of its power. Ancestral items had their own pride, and they wouldn't submit to people weaker than them. But Long Chen's attack had clearly brought out the ancestral item's full power. Even three of their soul transformation experts were unable to block it. What they didn't know was that their understanding was based on the fact that ancestral items needed to be enslaved in order to be used by those weaker than them. That was to avoid a backlash against their master. So although the slave mark was safe, it inhibited the ancestral item's power. The ancestral item would only use its power in accordance with the power of its master. With a slave mark, a foundation forging cultivator wouldn't even be able to use a hundredth of its true power. They had all known that Long Chen had an ancestral item, but they hadn't cared. They were unaware that Long Chen hadn't placed a slave mark on the Blazing Dragon Cauldron. In other words, nothing was inhibiting the Blazing Dragon Cauldron from freely using its power. Although its core had been heavily injured by the Black Pot, it was still able to instantly kill three soul transformation experts in one attack. Get in. Suddenly Long Chen shouted and two flame dragons began to revolve around the blazing dragon cauldron's mouth. It formed a huge whirlpool that began to cover the three Yuan spirits. Run. Regretfully, it was too late. The three Yuan spirits were sucked into the medicinal cauldron. A violet flame appeared over the cauldron, sealing them. 
Long Chen put away the blazing dragon cauldron. Yuan spirits were treasures to cloud, so it was best to leave them be. Just as Long Chen's hand was about to touch the blazing dragon cauldron, he found that he suddenly couldn't move. A large hand reached for his throat. A life star expert was finally attacking. In front of this kind of expert, Long Chen had no ability to resist, but he had no fear. Instead, there was a faint expression of ridicule on his face. The tip of a huge saber tore through space and thrust at that person. Astral winds unfurled, and an intense will shook the sky. The one who had attacked Long Chen was the tiger race's leader. Seeing this huge saber, his pupils narrowed and he coldly shouted, Fierce Yang Butcher to Kai and Shang, you actually dare to come out now. Boom. The huge saber was blown away by the tiger race expert. Tu Kai and Shang's figure appeared in the air. Tu Kai and Shang had a huge saber resting on his shoulder, one that was even thicker and longer than Long Chen's blood drinker. The strange thing was that the blade was three feet wide. It was extremely strange. It was just like a huge butcher's knife. Fuck, you really were right. This is one of the fellows that attacked me back then. Fuck you. Tu Kai and Shang's eyes turned scarlet when he saw the tiger race expert. His saber slashed out at him. Countless runes revolved around Tu Kai and Shang's saber. His suppressed baleful aura erupted, causing the clouds to change color. That tiger race expert was blown back. Tu Kai and Shang, if you dare to help Long Chen right now, that's fine. I don't mind killing you together to settle that enmity from back then. At this time, the elephant race and tiger race leaders came out. Heaven and earth shook intensely, as if it was the end of the world. Fatty too, will you be alright? How are you still at the soul transformation realm? You didn't advance at all after all these years. Long Chen was shocked. Back then, Tu Kai Anshan had already been at the soul transformation realm. So many years had passed. So how was he still in the same realm? I'm stuck in a bottleneck. So how the fuck was I supposed to advance? However, I can handle these three old ghosts. You should leave quickly, or you'll get crushed, said Tu Kai and Shang. All right, then I'll leave first. Don't get used as a stew by them. I see the way they've been looking at your fat and drooling. Thunder force erupted around Long Chen, and lightning wings appeared on his back. The boots on his feet also lit up. With a single step, he transformed into a bolt of lightning with incomparable speed. Don't even think about getting away. Two figures appeared. These two were soul transformation experts, and they blocked Long Chen Novaloon.com. That cauldron has already used up its energy. Let's see how you fight now. Those two soul transformation experts attacked Long Chen at the same time, but they were clearly trying to capture him alive, and weren't using killing blows. Go fuck your ancestor's tusk. Long Chen suddenly waved his hand, and an elephant tusk flew out. It smashed into the two of them. When those two saw that tusk, their souls almost fled in terror. They were both from the elephant race, and they naturally knew the power of this ancestral item. They had never imagined that their ancestral item would also be subdued by Long Chen. It was actually willing to allow Long Chen to use it. Although the two of them ran as soon as they saw it, it was still too late. The tusk slammed into their bodies, exploding them. Their Yuan spirits had just fled their bodies when the blazing dragon cauldron reappeared and swallowed them. Ancient race idiots, your daddy is leaving. You can slowly play here. After killing those two soul transformation experts, an opening had appeared in their encirclement. Long Chen fled. After him, the ancient race experts hastily chased him, but the elephant race and tiger race experts had to stop. Long Chen was too fast for them. Only the eagle race had any hope of catching up to him. Long Chen was pushing his speed to its peak. When he looked back, he saw over ten soul transformation experts stubbornly pursuing him. He was unable to throw them off. Fine. Then let's see whose endurance is greater. Long Chen clenched his teeth and continued onward, disappearing over the horizon like a shooting star. The runes on the eagle race expert's wings lit up, and they chased after him. When they had all disappeared, space twisted slightly and a large man with a broadsword on his back appeared. It seems that Brad has some skill. He should be fine. I should go back to make sure that Tu Kai and Chang doesn't get slaughtered the large man vanished. Chapter 1239 Chased by Experts Translator
Born to be Long Chen was fleeing when he suddenly heard a distant bang. Heaven and earth changed color. He looked back to see the world had turned black in the distance. It was like a black hole was swallowing that space. Even from this distance, he felt a terrifying pressure. Painful spiritual fluctuations washed over him. It was like a battle of the apocalypse. He was unable to see any figures. All he saw was space constantly breaking and healing and then breaking again. Sometimes, he managed to see a huge saber image cut apart heaven and earth as if trying to cut the world in two. It was a shocking thing to witness. So when life star experts fight all out, even the void crumbles. Long Chen was shocked. The power of life star experts surpassed his current understanding. It was truly power capable of destroying heaven and earth. Back then when Li Xiang Xuan had fought against four life star experts, it hadn't caused such a manifestation. It wasn't that they were weaker, but that they hadn't dared to go all out. If they had, then anyone below the life star realm would have been annihilated by their power. Whether it was Li Xiang Xuan or his opponents, they had all had misjivings about that, which had prevented such a thing. But this time, Tu Kian Chang had nothing to care about. His hated enemies were right in front of him, and the grievance accumulated over thousands of years erupted. It was truly terrifying. It seems I underestimated that fatty. The wine god palace has countless experts, and any one of them could come and help him suppress his opponents. He should be fine. I should worry more about myself. Long Chen bitterly smiled as he glanced back at the eagle race experts that refused to give up chasing him. The ancient races truly viewed him highly to send out so many experts, but he knew the reason why the eagle, tiger, and elephant races had deployed in full force. It wasn't just to capture him, it was a show of power. This was the habit of the ancient races. They were used to using absolute martial strength to suppress others in order to show their prestige and dominance. Although the ancient races claimed to be neutral and didn't provoke trouble, that was actually something from the ancient era. In the recent era, the ancient races were growing more and more hostile. There would often be stories of ancient race disciples incurring the hatred of other experts. They were getting tyrannical. Currently, the three race leaders were held back by Tu Kai and Shang. It was hard to say who would win that fight, but five of their soul transformation experts had been slain by Long Chen. This time, the ancient races had lost their faces. No matter what trick Long Chen had used, he was still just a foundation forging rookie. For him to kill people two realms above him was an unremovable stain for them. Now, over ten of the Eagle Race's soul transformation experts were furiously chasing Long Chen. If he managed to escape, the ancient races would become the laughing stocks of the world. Long Chen was running as fast as he could. His legs moved so fast that from a distance, they looked like spinning wheels. Lightning circulated around him. He had already reached his peak state, but the Eagle Race specialized in speed and their cultivation bases were also at the soul transformation realm. He was unable to get further than a hundred miles away, and they were also unable to get closer. Bastard, you won't get away. Once I catch you, I'll tear off all your skin and simmer your bones in oil, making you live a life worse than death, roared one of them. Idiots, even the descendants of animals dare to capture your ancestor? Keep dreaming, replied Long Chen his footsteps not pausing in the slightest. Those ancient race experts' hair stood on end from fury. They hated it the most when people called them descendants of animals. This was an unacceptable provocation. But even after two hours of chasing, even after going as fast as they could, they were unable to get any closer. Long Chen was also unable to throw them off. This was becoming a long-distance race. He took out a map and checked his position. According to this speed, I'll arrive at the heaven splitting battle sect tomorrow. At that time, someone will save me. But, that'd be embarrassing, wouldn't it? The first time I go over, I'm being hunted down like a dog and need to beg for help. Long Chen was irritated. In the eastern wasteland, Feng Zingli had come to help him. He had told Long Chen to come to the heaven splitting battle sect, that he didn't need to have any worries about learning split the heavens and that he should treat the heaven-splitting battle sect as his own. But he hadn't had any time to go. Now that he finally did, it was because he was running from a bunch of soul transformation experts? Wasn't that too embarrassing? 
Although rumors were that the heaven-splitting battle sect was so domineering that no one dared to provoke them, Long Chen was uncomfortable with doing such a thing. Just as Long Chen was wondering how he should throw off his enemies, an arrow pierced through the space between them. Long Chen hastily blocked with the pot. Boom. Space exploded and Long Chen felt his internal organs shake. He vomited a mouthful of blood and tumbled back. At this time, three of the soul transformation experts chasing him had joined together to push one person forward. That person had taken out a golden bow and launched this powerful attack. In order to avoid that person's speed dropping while unleashing this attack, the others had helped him keep moving. Long Chen had just been injured by the first arrow when the second arrow came. A distance of a hundred miles was crossed in an instant by this arrow. Long Chen could only raise the pot once more, and as a result, he vomited another mouthful of blood. Each time he was sent flying, he would need to readjust himself. His speed was dropping. Keep going like this. We'll catch him quickly like this. Capture him alive, shouted one of them. Capture your fucking mom. Long Chen suddenly roared. Chanting filled the air, and a huge sphere appeared in his hand. It shot toward them. Long Chen was finally counterattacking, and as soon as he did, he unleashed this berserk starfall. Not good. The expert launching the arrows was in the midst of pulling back his bow, and as a result, starfall struck him before he could do anything. Boom. Violet flames devoured that space. But Long Chen was shocked to find that this terrifying starfall was unable to cause any significant damage to them. Long Chen continued running. Now he realized that the ancient race's soul transformation experts could not be compared to the heaven suppressing magic sect soul transformation experts. They weren't existences he could defeat. Back then at the Eastern Sea, the reason why he had been able to kill soul transformation experts was because the physical bodies of the heaven suppressing magic sects experts were too weak. While another reason was that the Zhuanshan Dao sects experts had been working together with him to entangle them. Another aspect was split the heavens. It possessed an innate effect of breaking through barriers and shields, which was the bane of the heaven suppressing magic sects defenses. But now, the Eagle Race's soul transformation experts possessed powerful bodies and even greater combat power. Long Chen couldn't beat even a single one of them. After using ancestral items to slaughter them twice, he had inevitably started to look down on these soul transformation experts. But now he woke up from that delusion. Even that soul transformation expert from the Blood Kill Hall that he had fought in Grand Shia City, that had also been a special case. He had been disturbed by Long Chen during his meditation, resulting in him almost going insane. His combat power had been less than a tenth of what it normally was. Otherwise, there was no way he would have been slain by Long Chen and Xia Yaoluo. Damn it. Now this is a pain in the ass. I can't beat them, and I can't run away from them. Long Chen continued running, but those soul transformation experts were still chasing. They were now chaired a bit black. Starfall wasn't so easy to endure, and it had caused the distance between them to widen quite a bit, but it wasn't enough for Long Chen to throw them off. Boom. And so, another arrow struck Long Chen, sending him flying. Fuck. If this continues, I won't even make it to the heaven splitting battle sect before being caught. If only the pot wasn't still in slumber, it only knows how to eat and doesn't do any work. Long Chen felt helpless. Seeing the twisted expressions of the soul transformation experts, he saw another arrow fly at him. Long Chen blocked with the pot. The pot was fine, but Long Chen was continuously injured. And if it was anyone else, the power contained within these arrows would have directly blown them apart even with the pot. Long Chen, if you surrender now, there'll be a chance for you to live, shouted one of them. They knew Long Chen wouldn't be able to continue like this for long. They weren't worried about destroying his physical body. As long as his soul remained, it was fine. Then they could peruse his secrets. You want me to surrender? All right, I'll surrender it. Long Chen clenched his teeth and suddenly tossed out a small elephant tusk. That was the elephant race's ancestral item, and it had been subdued by Long Chen. But unlike the blazing dragon cauldron, its item spirit was very vicious and Long Chen couldn't trust it like the blazing dragon cauldron. He had placed a slave mark on it, which was the only way he dared to use it. 
Now it no longer had any power to help him, so he tossed it out. It arrived in front of the ancient race experts in an instant. Seeing that, their expressions all changed. Explode boom. The elephant tusk rapidly grew until it exploded. Long Chen had actually detonated such a precious ancestral item. Because he had placed a slave mark on it, the item spirit was unable to control itself. An ancestral item that had existed for who knew how many years was destroyed just like this. Its detonation was truly worthy of an ancestral item. Countless runes erupted like a volcano, devouring the world. Not good. It was too late to summon the blazing dragon cauldron. Long Chen hadn't expected such an immense explosion, and he could only curl up behind the pot. The destruction of the ancestral item unleashed a terrifying shockwave. Long Chen's entire body violently shook, and he heard the sound of his own bones shattering. His vision darkened and he fainted. Powered by Chapter 1240 Odd Disciples Translator Born to be after an unknown amount of time, Long Chen woke up. There was a foot in front of his face giving off a disgusting stench. What a familiar smell. What a familiar taste. Eh, hey, isn't this my own foot? Ah oh, fuck. How painful. Only after a moment did Long Chen realize he had accomplished an extremely difficult pose. His body was rolled up, with his butt resting on his head and his feet in front of it. When he realized this, he also suddenly felt intense pain all over his body. He sensed that his skeleton had been broken all over. Enduring the pain of getting out of this position, he swallowed a mouthful of the divine life elixir. His bones slowly healed. In just a few breaths time, he was able to move. He grabbed the pot that was lying not far from him. The pot wasn't damaged in the slightest. However, there was a bottomless pit in the distance. Everything within thousands of miles had vanished. Damn. So an ancestral item's explosion is actually this powerful. Seems like I underestimated that elephant tusk. How regretful. Sighed Long Chen. Now he finally understood that ancestral items fundamentally weren't things that he could control. The elephant tusk only showed how terrifying it was in its explosion. Over ten soul transformation experts of the eagle race were blown to bits. Not even their Yuan spirits escaping. But he also hadn't had any choice but to throw away the elephant tusk. He spat on the ground. Instead of gaining anything from these people, he ended up losing an ancestral item. Wait a sec. Long Chen was just about to leave when he suddenly had a thought. He closed his eyes and spread his divine sense. Searching the edges of the pit. He, as expected, there are still some gains. Long Chen dug out a spatial ring from a pile of dirt. It went without saying that it was one of the soul transformation experts. If struck head-on from an attack, a spatial ring would instantly explode, and whatever was inside would be drawn into the chaotic flow of space, disappearing forever. But as long as it wasn't a head-on collision, there was a chance it could survive. Previously, he had killed five of the ancient race experts, and their physical bodies were gone. However, their spatial rings remained. It was just that they were still in the hands of their Yuan spirits. But those Yuan spirits were in the blazing dragon cauldron and sealed with the soul-devouring violet flame. There was no way for them to run away. Doing a quick search, Long Chen found six spatial rings. He checked all over the pit, but he wasn't able to find anything more. Those other spatial rings had to have been destroyed. He, the wealth of six soul transformation experts is truly great. Long Chen looked inside. There were quite a few good things, but there were also weapons, cultivation techniques, and medicinal pills that were specialized for the ancient races. Humans were unable to use them. He had no time to look through them carefully. He rushed off. He was worried about the other ancient race experts catching up. Although the other soul transformation experts and below who weren't from the eagle race were unable to catch up to him, he didn't dare take that risk. He had only just left when a figure with a broadsword on his back appeared above the pit. Looking at this scene, he couldn't help but shake his head. That little brat really is ruthless. No wonder he would end up with two Kai and Shang. Not bad, not bad. After saying that, the large man vanished, leaving behind only this huge hole that was like an open moor recounting this bloody battle. Three days later, Long Chen arrived in front of a huge mountain pass. This was the entrance to the heaven-splitting battle sect he had rushed for a day and then found a place to rest. 
he had recovered until he was in his peak condition before continuing onward. No matter how he put it, the heaven-splitting battle sect was like a second sect to him, and he couldn't go in looking like a mess. In front of him was a huge mountain dozens of miles high. The rocky mountain was bare without the slightest blade of grass. It was full of an ancient and desolate air. There was a narrow passage through the peak of this mountain, looking like a natural pass. Looking from a distance, it was like a sword had split this path open. It possessed a wild and domineering flavor. As Long Chen advanced, he became more and more shocked. When he was a hundred miles from the entrance, a terrifying energy began to target his soul. It was like an invisible blade was pointed at his head. As long as he dared to get closer, he would be killed. Is this a trial? Long Chen didn't pause. He continued onward, but as he advanced, the pressure increased. He closed his eyes and sensed that will. In his mind, an image of a figure holding a huge blade appeared. When that blade fell, the heavens and stars trembled. Split the heavens. Split the heavens. So that's what it was. First, you have to possess the will to split the heavens. And only then can you cultivate the power to split the heavens. Long Chen was shocked. It was an extremely domineering principle. It was no wonder the heaven-splitting battle sect's people were all natural madmen. Long Chen walked in past the entrance. In truth, this couldn't count as a mountain pass. It was just an opening in the mountain that was exceptionally crude and simple noveloon.com and yet, this was a grand simpleness. It embodied the meaning of letting things come naturally instead of treating everything meticulously. Long Chen now concluded that this pass had been created through an attack and the will of that attack was still present in the form of this terrifying pressure. Once Long Chen was at the entrance, he saw several figures inside. He hastily rushed over and was about to speak when he heard the sound of cursing and fierce winds. Dumbfounded, he went past a corner and saw over ten experts constantly cursing and hitting each other. The sound of their fists whistled. What startled Long Chen was that these sea expansion disciples were all large and burly like bulls. All their muscles bulged greatly. They were fighting intensely, their fists flying. The sound of their fists striking rang out over and over, followed by pained groans and furious curses. It was a lively scene that struck Long Chen dumb. What was going on here? Stop, stop. Suddenly, one of those disciples saw Long Chen and hastily waved. Fuck, you think we'll stop just because you say stop? Why should I stop? That first disciple shout was unable to stop them, and due to his distraction, a fist landed squarely on his face, blood spurted out of his nose, and even tears streamed out of his eyes. You fucker, you dare to attack me, just watch as I kick your balls out. That disciple ignored Long Chen and rejoined the fray. There were over ten of them, and they were all covered in large brazes. Long Chen's jaw dropped as he watched these disciples fight intensely. Wait a moment. Someone's arrived another disciple saw Long Chen and cried out, and just the same, he was knocked down by a punch. Who do you think you're fooling? You think I'm an idiot? That disciple who saw Long Chen ended up being misunderstood as trying to play a trick. A flurry of fists came for him. Long Chen now realized this brawl was split between two sides. He had no idea why they were fighting, but profanities spouted out of all their mouths. Long Chen simply watched as they fought. This was his first time seeing such a thing. They were fighting so intensely that they completely ignored him. Eventually, they were panting for breath, and all of their heads were swollen as large as a pig's head. Probably even their mothers wouldn't recognize them. Only then did they slowly pause. It seemed neither side had managed to get an advantage over the other. Brat, who are you? Why did you come to the heaven-splitting battle sect? One of them finally turned to Long Chen. He seemed like a chief. Ah, do you want to wipe the blood off your face first? It's strange to look at. Long Chen truly found it a bit hard to endure as that person ignored the blood dripping out of his nose. What does my blood have to do with you? Hurry up and speak. If you have no business here, you should scram. We're busy. That person wiped off some blood. Speaking impatiently. This junior is I don't care if you're a junior or senior. Hurry up and get to the point. That person cut him off. In truth, I Long Chen smiled. Fuck. Do you need to speak so slowly? Brothers, beat him up first and then we'll hear what he says. 
that person impatiently cut him off once more and attacked him with a punch. Hey, there's no need to have such a fiery temper. You should calm yourself a bit, or you'll suffer in the future. Long Chen blocked that person's fist with his palm, shaking his head. Were these people temperamental bulls? How were they so violent that they attacked before someone finished speaking? Fuck. Who do you think you are to tell me to change my temper? Attack together. Just looking at that face. He's clearly not a good person. You are as skinny as a monkey. But you want us to change our tempers? If we don't beat you until you become a shit-eating dog, you can count yourself as awesome. Banging rang out. Long Chen gave each of them a punch, making them all vomit blood and fly back. They were only at the sea expansion realm, while Long Chen was at the foundation forging realm. Even if both parties didn't release their auras, they weren't on his level. Fuck. He's too strong. We can't beat him, cried one of the disciples, holding his chest where a fist had left a deep imprint. But of course, they weren't stupid. They knew Long Chen was being merciful. Otherwise, these punches would be heavily injuring or killing them. Just who are you? cried one of them, Long Chen. Long Chen now understood that there was no need to be courteous with these fellows. In fact, you couldn't be courteous. You had to be direct. So you're Long Chen? Fuck. Why didn't you say so earlier? It was intentional, wasn't it? Raged that disciple. Long Chen rolled his eyes. They hadn't even given him a chance to speak in the first place. Which one of you is Long Chen? At this moment, hundreds of experts rushed over. All of their auras powerful. They were all foundation forging experts. You are Long Chen. Those people looked at him. Correct Long Chen couldn't help but frown slightly upon seeing these people. He felt like he had entered a bandit lair. Beat him. Shockingly, these foundation forging disciples charged at Long Chen without explanation. Attacking him. These disciples are referring to themselves as. Which is the same way Long Chen refers to himself when he's being haughty. It is an arrogant way to refer to oneself. Sometimes it is translated as I, your daddy. At this point, I will also note that a few chapters ago, there was an elder referred to as old man. He will continue to be referred to as the old man as a title. Old man is translated from, and this is what you might call the leader of a gang. So you can also view it as another form of boss that the Dragonblood Legion calls Long Chen, except would only be used for an elderly person.